You ready? Yeah. Cole is better than Kendrick. I'm sorry. I want all the smoke with any bro, nigga on this platform because y'all niggas get. I'm getting tired of the disrespect, bro. I'm getting tired of the disrespect. I'm getting tired of it. Yo, yo, yo. What's good, man? It's the Thoughts on Lacey podcast, episode five in episode the building. Episode five, bro. Episode five. It's shit crazy, bro. Like, it's really. Five consistent weeks. Five, bro. Like, I'm low key proud of the progress. You bro. feel me? Because <laughs> we, we almost we almost didn't do it, bro. It was a, it was it a was point so in close. time where we didn't do it. What mm-hmm. we wasn't about to do, I was like, but now we made it to five weeks. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Bro, I'm going to keep it brick. If this nigga can keep it up, we going every week for the rest of the year. I'm not missing a week. I'm not missing a week, bro. Bro, I did the calculations, right? Yeah. When we first started, it was like... August the 1st. It was August 1st. It was like 26 weeks left in the year. Yeah. So that means by the end of the year, we should have about 20-some videos, almost 30. For sure, for sure. We, I mean, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. Like, Yeah, but bro... This nigga the inconsistent king, right? Well, I'll, I'll take that back. I, ooh, I'm, I'm more, I'm more inconsistent, but still though, you bro. way more ins- inconsistent than me. But still though, I'm just saying, like, bro, I'm going. Who, you ain't got no worry about me. Who bro. took a whole break from a year and a half of content? Why he left me out here in the streets, bro? That's another thing, bro. I had to take a break, bro. That I social media. I feel like everybody should take a, a social media. Break. I understand that shit, that. Is, that shit is healthy, but at the same time, bro, you left me out there. Cause I was the only one still taking pictures, still dropping the, the reel, still doing that, and you left. Nah, I drop like I drop a picture or a reel every once in a while. That's some bull. Every once in a while, I drop one just just cause. You know? But I understand what you're saying about the um, the social media. You definitely need a break. Cause from that shit. It. To be honest, bro, I don't even use it like that no more. I just use it for this. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I mean, I use, mean, it, I use it, pictures and shit. I use it for pictures. I mean, I get on that air once in a while and just do and my thing. I ain't gonna lie, I use it to laugh, bro. Yeah, bro. Instagram and so, uh, TikTok yes, has bro. some funny ass shit. If y'all go through our messages, our DM messages. Bro, it ain't nothing but funny shit. It ain't nothing but funny like, shit through it. I send this nigga shit all day. He send me shit all day. It's like, bro. Yes. <laughs> this shit crazy, bro. But um, like he, he been pr- trying to put me on the TikTok wave. I'm still not on that TikTok And it's crazy because, bro. bro, people, I didn't even used to be on TikTok. Like, I used to have niggas, they were like, bro, get TikTok, get TikTok, get TikTok. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, No. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, bro, I don't want that shit. And they just kept on telling me, get it, kept on telling me. So I finally got it. And now it's just like, it's not addictive. Cause I'm I not don't even be on it, bro. It's literally just be funny shit. Like, yeah. I don't care about all that extra other shit. Yeah, he, made, he, he, he talked me into making one. I made one. I got like nine posts on it. But, bro, I don't even really be on it like that, bro. Yeah. It's kind of different from IG. Yeah, I'm so used to IG, bro. I mm-hmm. think IG is just the app for me. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, bro, how was your week this week? What's going on with you? I was going. I was just about to say hard, but it wasn't even a hard week because I only worked three days this week. I took off oh, yeah, Wednesday. Off. Wednesday? I, t- I thought it was. Oh yeah, Wednesday, it was Wednesday, Wednesday to get my yeah, breaks yeah, yeah. and shit. So I, that was a good little rest. I had a three day work week, so it went mm-hmm. by fast. You feel mm-hmm. me? So it was like it wasn't really that you know not too exciting. Man, but I had a smooth week too. What about yeah? What you feel? So mean? Wednesday, I got in night school, bro. I ain't been to school since Wednesday. So when you start night school? Tuesday. So I don't go to school tomorrow neither. So what time you go? I go from 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock. And you like that schedule? Yeah, and then I get out, and we don't go to school on Fridays, bro. So it's Monday through Thursday? Yup, Monday through Thursday. Look, I did the hours right. Yeah. You got eight hours at school on regular. Eight, Monday through Friday, that's 40 hours a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus 16 hours a week. Yeah. That's like so much more time to just do other shit. And and you better be able to like... Do other shit. Don't just get watch this me. free time watch and then me. bullshit watch around. Watch me. Watch what, what, watch what I put to work. This, this nigga, nigga a hater. This nigga ain't doing shit. Anyway, bro. I ain't been to school since Wednesday. You feel me? And I've been chilling all week. Well, not all week, you know. Mm-hmm. I've been doing the shit for the part, thinking of topics and all that shit. But yeah. I, it's, bro, I, it took me down to the last day. Another, insta- another inconsistent king. This nigga don't got no topics. I got topics, bro. I got a, I got a few good ones that I feel like we can talk about. Okay. So, don't do not do me like that. So, overall, it was a good little cool little week. Yeah, man. Us, right? Yeah. Last thing that happened was the Usyk fight last night. Oh, yeah. I didn't even watch it, but I seen what happened. That 
I don't know about that one, bro. That shit not below the belt, Dre. Don't call it. It was like below that. the belt. I ain't saying it was. I'm saying like that shit kind of weird. Bro. That shit weird. It is weird, bro. He still won, but it's like damn, nigga. Like, wait, Uzi won, then Uzi, he knocked him out. He knocked bro down, That's and bro could bro could get back up. I think bro was just exhausted, bro. I feel like that's some bullshit. <laughs> Cause I feel like bro was knocked the fuck down for too long. He was knocked down, bro, and and then they try to call it below the belt. And see, that's that's the point, bro. I don't think I don't know, bro. It was just weird. If you it was look like, at where that whole landed at, below the belt is down here. Yeah, he hit bro like like right about right there, like yeah. right barely above. Yes, the belt. it was but like right above. Have the you belt, ever bro. been hit down? It's them to like getting hit in the nuts. I got kicked in the nuts, so I, I'm I'm pretty <laughs> sure I can. <laughs> Paul, what the fuck you get kicked in the nuts at? Bruh, I was in like first grade. I got stumped in the nuts by some girl. <laughs> <laughs> you got stumped in the nuts by a girl, bro? Bruh, because it's like we was playing around and she like, and like, you know how when you a kid, you just doing dude stuff. <laughs> <laughs> bruh, she like dead ass stumped me in the nuts. This nigga got like, stumped in the, the nuts, fuck? bro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 bro, I got bro, you in these nuts. stories, bro. In, <laughs> you in these stories, bro. Last podcast, this nigga talk about ex biting his balls and shit. I got bit on the balls, bro. Anyway, anyway, the Usyk shit. I feel like, yeah, that shit was above the belt, bro. Yeah. I feel like it was too, bro. And I feel like, I feel like when he got hit there, that's why I was saying, have you ever been hit there? Because mm-hmm. I feel like when he got hit there, he may have mistaken he it may for have like mis- getting hit, hit in, in the, the nuts because yeah. it, it hurt just like if mm-hmm. it feel like you got hit in your shit because it's low key connected. Yes, like if you ever got hit in your balls, right? Yeah, you know how I you feel how right, feel there, right in your, in the, yes, in right your above gut. your stomach, right yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I feel like he thought he got hit in the nuts, but and that's that's why I think that's why I think it's like you can see it two different ways. I don't. He see definitely it. got hit. In a proper place, but it was a but, little low. Yeah, it was low, but I'm not saying, but it was not low enough. It was not low, low enough to say he. Yeah, I, I feel like the refs. I feel like that's what it is because if Usyk made the mistake of staying down there because he thought he got hit in the nuts, right? Mm-hmm. That shouldn't matter. Like you went down, you mm-hmm. stayed down. Like the ref should have knew, like, hey, that was that was a clean shot. You might have felt like you got hit in the nuts, but it wasn't. But you didn't, and it so, and it could have been a, it could have been your honest mistake. Like, damn, yeah. I thought I got hit in the nuts, and I was down there too long. But I mean, <laughs> it is what it is, bro. He posted. I don't know. I think I think he posted a lawsuit, bro. Mm-hmm. But just imagine if he would have lost that to bro, and my nigga AJ couldn't beat him, and he lost to Daniel Dubois. I don't know, bro, but I, I respect him. Yeah, he that, and he low key won. Nah, bro. Before that place. fight, he I'm was no, getting his ass. Whooped. I'm saying, like, I mean, he before won, that punch, I'm saying he won because of that punch. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, he won. He he low key but won. Like, but come on, bro. But yeah, I feel you. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm gonna keep it on. I ain't see the fight. I bet Usyk probably did whoop his ass. I'm gonna keep it a whole buck, bro. Like, I'm gonna keep it a brick. Even though, bro, if he if he would have won, bro, I don't think he would have held on to him for <laughs> for that long. Nah, bro. but I mean, no matter what, a win is a win, bro. Yeah, you're right. He a beat. Win, he, if win. he would have beat Usyk, y'all would have won. The same thing by Andy Ruiz. He would have won. I know. Yeah. When but you see, did. Andy Ruiz had it for what six months till they fought again, and it was over. But he had it. He had it. Though. And it ain't like he wasn't a contender. Like shit, yeah. he did his thing in that joint. Yeah, you right. You right. Like, you right. Yeah. I mean, it would have been cool to you know see. Man, where Frank Sanchez at, bro? Who wins? That's who I want to see. He finna fight somebody else. He should be up there with them. He should be up there with the top guy. I really think so, bro. Yeah. He really, he really one of them. But yeah, time would tell, bro. Usyk though, I, I, I really believe he. Um, he lost that. Yeah, what would you say? Her name was Dubois. Daniel Dubois. Okay. Shout out Daniel Dubois. Shout out Usyk. And guess what? On the Shit highlights, like right? I went to the highlights mm-hmm. and they didn't even show the punch. On the highlights, it was Damn, just real, real? on the highlights. It was just Usyk whooping bro ass and then him knocking him down twice. Yeah. Because he knocked him down the first time, bro got up. Then he knocked him down again and bro so just gave up. Question. Did you? Did he knock him down before he hit him in the stomach or did he knock him down He afterwards? knocked him down afterwards. So the both knockouts was afterwards. After the, after the, that's what I, that's, See, that's the bullshit. That's the bullshit, yeah. yeah that's that's the bullshit. Saying, he won after yeah. he got knocked down. That's so I was bullshit. like, and bro, bro hit him, he said, when bro hit him, it looked like the wind got knocked out of him. I sent him, yeah. I sent the, I sent the punch. I didn't see the fight, but I did see the punch. Yeah, bro. Because I ain't going to lie, I forgot he was fighting. I'm going to be honest. And then I started seeing everywhere where they were like robbery, robbery, highway robbery. I'm like, what the fuck going on? Yeah. Bird yeah. hit his ass in the stomach and he couldn't take it. But yeah. Yeah. They say he got hit in the balls, bro. 
which in my opinion was shit. tomfoolery. But shit crazy, bro. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is, though, bro. You know, we just move yeah, on and see move what on, happens. Man, I done seen a lot of niggas get robbed, Loma. Yeah, I done seen a lot of niggas get robbed, man. Shout out, man. <laughs> Yeah, bro. <laughs> I fuck with Loma Chico. But man, boxing but. is really starting to get stale to me, bro. It's really starting to build on some bullshit. Bullshitting for real. Like, they not calling what they supposed to be calling. And then I seen some shit, right? Them niggas not fighting who they supposed to be fighting. I ain't gonna lie. What? I seen some shit. You know we fuck with we fuck with all boxers. Yeah. We just a boxing fans. Yeah, yeah. But we all know we fuck with Javante a little more than the average boxer. Cause we grew up watching Javante when he before he even got the breeze, before he became who he is now. Mm-hmm. I seen a little list, right? They said top five um US fighters, like just like based from like came from US, not like in the US. You know what I'm saying? Talking about right now? Yeah, that was born in the US. Uh-huh. They had Terrence Crawford number one. They had Devin Haney number two. Yeah. They had um I can't remember who they had number three. They had Shakur on there. They had, I think Spence was on there. It was like some, it was like everybody on there, but Javante wasn't on there. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, how was Javante not on? And Sha- Shakur Stevenson was on there. Yeah. He was like number three, I think, number three or four. That's and I'm true. like, bro, you telling me Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney is in front of Tank and Tank not even on the list. I could see if he was number five. I'll be like, I mean, I guess he he on the list at least. Yeah. This nigga wasn't even on the top five list. And I'm like, bro, what? Like, are you serious right now? Shit crazy. Like, if I'm being for real, bro, I, I, I haven't seen Shakur fight as much competition as this nigga Javante Davis. Yeah, you're right. Nor Haney. Haney is closer, though. Haney is closer. He has fought more competition than Shakur, at yep. least. Fought Lenore. He fought Lenore. He fought Loma. Loma, Cam Bosis. Yeah. You feel me? So he got a, you feel me? He but fought, um, he fought, fought Bruh twice. Um, he fought Bruh twice. Damn, what the name is? The one who took the belt from Tio. Um, oh, yeah. Um, that nigga from Australia. Um, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, he fought him twice, yeah. bro. I know who you're talking about. And bro was no slouch, you know? Yeah. He almost got dropped by Lenares. We watched that fight. Yeah, so it's like, that bro, fight. we seen this nigga fight competition. Yeah. Who the, bro, this nigga Ryan done fought what? Santa Cruz. Man, come on, man. This Ryan resume fought. ain't like that. I mean, not Ryan. I, I meant to say, uh. What you talking I about, I meant to bro? say Tank. I oh, yeah. meant to say Tank, Ryan, bro. Tank. This nigga, like his last, what, seven fights has just he been. He fought Barrio. He fought, Le, um, he fought Cambosis. He, 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 he fought Santa Cruz. He, he fought, fought Cambosis, did he? He did fight Cambosis. He knocked the fuck out of him. I thought they out. said when they fought. I thought. Oh, he, he, fought, he fought Cambosis, bro. Cambosis, yeah. He fought Santa Cruz. He fought Roley. Roley. He, he fought, fought Ryan. Garcia. Ryan not Garcia. Ryan. He fought Ryan Garcia and, and, uh, um, and Danny Garcia. Not Danny. Mark, Mark, Mark. 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 Yeah. No, no. no. Name. What's, What's his, his name? What's his name? I forgot his first name. Garcia, but he fought no. Garcia. You feel me? Come on, bro. He, his competition is low-key better than all them niggas. It is what it is, man. But I, they don't got him up there. And I feel like that's some hating shit. I feel like that's some lame shit. Probably. Because how do you not have him top five if you got Shakur Stevenson top five? Yeah. What? True. What? But Shakur like that, though. I but fuck with him. I understand that, bro. But it's Tank about the not like that. talking about the competition. It's Tank not like that. Yeah, Tank like that. Tank resume is better. Tank is arguably a better boxer. I don't know about that. Argu- I said arguably. Oh, oh okay. Because it's like. But I'm just saying, bro. That shit don't make no sense to me, bro. How the fuck he not up there, bro? I feel like they constantly disrespect my mans. And they say Tank wouldn't fight, wouldn't beat Shakur. But I'm like, bro, we haven't seen Shakur enough to just be like, oh, yeah, he going to beat Tank. Like, yeah. Tank can take multiple punches. We ain't never seen that this man could get, he can get his ass dropped yeah. by Tank. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, bro, come on now. Come on now. You can't do that, bro. And they sitting here doing that shit like it's cool. And niggas is actually cool with the fact that Tank wasn't up there. And I'm like, crazy. Y'all got it, bro. Y'all got it. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all niggas got it, bro. Yeah, mm-hmm. that shit crazy, bro. Cause that shit disrespectful. I know y'all seen how he knocked. Um, who the fuck was it? It was remember that 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 clean ass uppercut that whole almost won knockout. That of the was year. Santa Cruz. That was Santa. No, 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 no. That was Garcia. One. That was the, yeah. That was the Garcia dude. That was Garcia. I think that was Garcia dude, man. It was somebody because they were saying he was a tough opponent for David, and he knocked his ass clean knock. Yeah, he knocked his ass off the board, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Uppercut. Uh, caught him and dropped his ass, bro. You telling me? Yep. 
I mean, it is what it is, bro. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, we we gonna switch the topic. I mean, you, we, you get a little. I ain't getting heated. It's just I don't like that shit. I just hate when niggas do that. Like, yeah, it seems like we don't be watching the same shit. It yeah. seems like, yeah. Anyway, niggas getting. I feel you, bro. I'm finna start this all hectic, bro, because I want all the smoke. This nigga, what I want mean? all every single piece of the smoke. Every single piece of it with anybody. All right, bro. Is you ready? Yeah. Cole is better than Kendrick. I'm sorry. I want all the smoke with any bro, nigga this? on this platform because y'all niggas get. I'm getting tired of the disrespect, bro. I'm getting tired of the disrespect. I'm getting tired of it. I am getting tired of it. Bro, I'm going to let you rock, bro. And listen, bro. I you, am getting tired of it. Bro, you cannot keep doing this shit. No, you can't keep doing this, Dre. I'm getting tired of it, Listen, bro. bro listen, listen. I'm getting tired of it, bro. Listen, You bro. act. Let me talk, nigga. Listen, listen. Because you jumping on here like I'm the one that's saying it. You is the one saying it. Bro, you said I, that shit out your mouth. I said, bro, listen, bro. You said... Kendrick is better than Cole. Did you not? I did say that to get you mad. And that's some bullshit. To get you mad, bro. That's not why you said it, Listen, nigga. bro. You Cole, truly believe it. Look, look. I've been on Cole longer than Kendrick, bro. That's 100% Man. facts. Listen, bro. If you ask me, I can't put one over the other, bro. I just can't do I it. I would rather you say that than say Kendrick is better. I can't put one over the other. I would rather everybody be like, bro, they equals. Than to say... Oh, Kendrick is just miles better because you got that man fucked up. Yeah, he. Yeah, I mean, bro, listen. Bro. You got J. Cole fucked up. Like, he didn't drop For Your Eyes Only. Listen, bro. The album, not just the song. Listen, bro. I'm. I. I you can get the smoke with all these other niggas, bro. I'm going to just keep it real and be like, I can't put one over there. Some got, days I feel like Kendrick better, and then some days I feel like Cole better. It just depends on the fucking day. You got Good Kid, Mad City. You got To Pimp a Butterfly. You got Damn. Right. Good Kid, Mad Hold City up. is one of my favorite albums. Hold up. You got all three great-ass albums. I'm talking about extremely high regards. Yeah. For, like, some of the best rap albums ever made. Yeah. But you know what Cole got on his hand as well? What's up? 14 Forest Hills Drive. For Your Eyes Only. K.O.D. And I'm not even finna let you stop. Because you one of them niggas that like to hate on K.O.D. But your ass is missing the whole point of the shit. No, I understood the album. And he went crazy on that motherfucker. And it was not trash. I ain't, bro, I just didn't like his, I just, bro, just because I say it's not better than this album, or I, I, I'll be like. What you say it was trash? Thomas, you not? Bro, you trying to flex on this podcast. I'm bro. not flexing. I'm Look, just, I'm just re said, reiterating what, what you said. What I told you, I was like, bro, it's not for, that, that album wasn't for me, bro. I ain't, I ain't. Now look, I'm not going to say. He had every song on that was not above, well, I mean, not the standard, but I'm saying like few songs on that whole was slapping like, but I just didn't, it didn't resonate with me like the other ones, bro, because I know he could get deeper than what he did on that one, bro. <clears throat> okay. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. I just didn't feel like it was one of his, niggas be trying to say that's like the top album, like no, I think nigga, that whole top, no, bro, bro, out of no. all his projects, that whole 1,000% like No, top. bro, that shit by five. That whole top four. I'll give it, I'll give it top four. And it's four in, bro. I it's ain't not gonna lie. one or two or three. And then it's like you also gotta make it seem, and then you also gotta do what you what is better versus what you like. Because like, hold up, let me listen. I understand that, bro. Because like, for example, I may like for your eyes only, like as my favorite J Cole album, but it may not be his best one. It may be Forest Hill Drive, and that's why I feel you like what I'm that's why I feel like a lot of niggas say that about Kod. But Kod is actually like. Greatest for it's a great, it's a I, good album. Like, for bro. example, in my opinion, and this is my opinion, KOD was better than offseason. In my no, humble bro. opinion, no. it was better than offseason. No, bro. that's that's your humble okay. opinion, bro. Okay, I don't believe so. Okay, bro. I don't believe so. Okay, I just don't do it. I just but can't I just, do it, bro. I'm just sick of niggas on these platforms talking shit about Cole like he just not that man, bro. I mean, he better than Drake. Speak your piece. I'm gonna be better you than Drake. I'm gonna let you rock. He better than Drake. Tied with Kendrick. Simple as that, bro. Simple. I'm the type of nigga that, like, bro, the reason I say he better is because y'all be making me mad. So I just want to say, like, bro, he better because y'all be trying to play my man like he not. This nigga got the, as far as lyrics go, this nigga got the same lyrical ability as Kendrick Lamar, bro. Same punchline, same flow switches, same everything. Them niggas can literally go ball for ball with each other and they won't miss a beat. Now, if Drake was on that hoe, he getting left behind. You see what I'm saying? But Drake is not in the conversation. Now, a lot of niggas say Drake better than J. Cole. And I'm like, is you serious? After that bullshit he just put out, talking about some goddamn search and rescue, you telling me that shit is better than J. Cole. And then, this nigga J. Cole feature run 
since like 20, what, 18? Yeah. Till now has been one of the best feature runs ever. If you go down the list of all this man features and just look at the shit that he putting out on yeah. features, that shit is better than majority of the music today. Just on a feature, bro. Yeah. Don't disrespect Cole. I'm all for you niggas having to pimp a butterfly to what? No. Nah. I'm all for you having to pimp a butterfly the best album of all time. I'm all for that, bro. But do not just sit here and act like this nigga Cole is not right there with Kendrick Lamar. I said good kid, Mad City. You think it's better? Yeah, I think. And this is this is also something we agree on. I think Good Kid, Mad City is Kendrick's best album. I, I don't do, think, bro. I don't think To Pimp Butterfly is better than Good Kid, Mad City. I mean, I feel like niggas try to do that. Oh, it sounds amazing. Yeah, that sonic, sonic, that sonic but, shit. Ooh, but that fucking Good Kid, Mad City was able to sound amazing, but also but be, have yeah. great replay value, yeah. all that, bro. Like, for example, I ain't going to lie, man. And this is no disrespect to Pimp Butterfly is a great and one of the greatest albums. But this thing about To Pimp Butterfly. I just don't see myself riding around listening to to Pimp a Butterfly. Even though it's great. Even though it's great as fuck. It's like not saying that it's not songs on there that I don't go and listen to. It's just like I can put on Good Kid Mad City and start that whole and literally listen to it. Let it ride. But like to Pimp Butterfly, I might skip some shit or I might not be in the mood to hear that shit. Yeah. Or it might be like I'm not on that type of time right now. Even with damn, I can listen to damn. I can go listen to Damn and be like, oh, yeah, I fuck with that more than To Pimple Butterfly. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It just resonates with I feel the, like You know what I'm saying? I feel like with Pimple, with To Pimple Butterfly, he was actually trying, trying to, like, to be on some deep ass. He wanted to, yeah. make, he wanted to make that album. Yeah, he so wanted, yeah. I feel like that was shit. the album he wanted to make. You uh, get what I'm saying? Sure. And then, but it, it it was, like I said, it was great. It's kind of like, yeah. what the, it's kind of like, um for example, right? You ever, you, you seen The Lord of the Rings, right? Yeah. Bruh, that trilogy, when I was young, bruh, remember? I don't know if you remember, but me and Pops used to watch that um, Lord of the Rings. That shit was mm-hmm. like that movie. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But it's, and it's a great ass movie. One of the greatest movies. Yeah, for but sure. But it's like, you're not going back and watching it every day or every yeah, other that day. That whole longest fuck. Because it's long and it's a masterpiece and you got to be in a moment. I mean, to you got to be in that Lord mood of the Rings, yeah. to turn your brain to focus on that motherfucker mm-hmm, like that, bro. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I feel like that's how Pimple Butterfly is. You got to be in that deep mode, that that goddamn altering, that life-altering type of mode yeah. to jump in that motherfucker and be like, oh, I understand everything. Like, for example, about. Poetic Justice is a vibe. Vibe. You can listen to that shit whenever you want. Whenever you want. Money Trees is a vibe. vibe. It sounds good, but it's also got meaning and shit behind it. Art of peer pressure. Art of peer pressure. Vibe. It's 2.30 and the sun is beaming. Come on, vibe, man. bro. Vibe. It's like the shit was lit, bro. It's just like I feel like that's that's his best album. Yeah, man. Hey. And I feel like another thing, y'all niggas need to go listen to Cole, bro. I feel like y'all don't be listening and y'all don't be hearing what my man talking about. For your eyes only is a whole like, bro. Cole is that nigga. I just bro. I just don't like it, bro. Y'all Cole that nigga, but I, I like I said, I'm not finna put both. I'm not finna put one. I don't. Other. Every time somebody asks me, I don't put one over the other. I just hate when niggas be like, yeah, Kendrick is smoking him. Kendrick is good. No, he's not. He's not smoking him, but. He's not Cole smoking up. Cole. When he say smoking on top five, Cole is not included. Because he's not smoking on Cole at all. Cole is that nigga. Yeah, bro. Niggas been counting me out. I'm counting my bullets. I'm loading my clips. I'm writing down names. I'm taking the list. I'm checking it twice, and I'm getting them hit. Cole. <laughs> I'm gonna let you rock, man, because I, I, man, listen, bro. I mean, I guess it need to be said out there. It, I feel like it do, bro, because niggas is literally just counting my man's out, like he is not. You feel me? At one point, this nigga was literally thrown. Yeah. At one point in time, while Kendrick was still out here, this nigga was literally the best one out. Just like Kendrick, at one point in time, he was the best one out. I just feel like, bro, just like Drake. At one point in time, he was the best one out. And I feel like you niggas is getting it confused. You niggas is starting to get it confused. Like, bro, Cole is way more active than Kendrick right now, bro. Like, for example, that don't, I mean, hold, hold up. Just to play devil's advocate, that don't mean nothing. But who's putting out more music at a better rate right now? Yeah. J. Cole. You feel me? Yeah. For the last two, three years, who's been putting out more music, more consistently, better? J. Cole. You feel what I'm saying? The Look. This nigga Kendrick dropped Mr. Morale, and y'all can feel however y'all want to feel about that album. I didn't like it. 
<laughs> so all, <laughs> this man and I swear to blazed God, in the country. I swear to God, this is no disrespect. Like I, it, it really sounds like I'm bashing Kendrick, but bro, I like Kendrick just as much as I like J. Cole. I just hate when niggas bash J. Cole. Cause it's like, bro, yeah, Cole is right there. You cannot sit here and bring up Kendrick and not bring up Cole. You can't bring up Cole and not bring up Kendrick. Them niggas is like that. I feel you. I feel you. And I feel like the way these niggas is talking, getting real slick, saying shit like, bro, this nigga Cole dropped a badass album. So what the fuck was Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers? They tried yeah. to call For Your Eyes Only trash when it first came out. Now niggas love it. I think you need to re-listen to that, Mr. I ain't going to um, lie. My favorite, song, my favorite song on there is um, Father Time, bro. You need to re-listen, though. You think so? I think so because, bro, that was a good album. I think you need to re-listen, bro. From top to bottom, just try it again. Like, you know you have to live with certain shit. Just try it one more time. Yeah. Like, from top to bottom. Yeah. And kind of, like, focus in on Don't be doing no other shit when you listen to it. Of course. I wasn't doing none shit when I listened to it the first time. I hear you, bro. But I'm going I'm, to I'm listen to it again just because you said I should, bro. Yeah, go ahead. Because I listened to it. I tried to listen to it, like, maybe, like, three times, and I wasn't feeling it, bro. So I just let it go. All and right. I got a few songs on there that I go back to, like, for all the time and shit. But I don't go to nothing else after that, bro. But man, bro, come on, bro. Kendrick and Cole, I y'all feel like they on the same. I feel like le- they on the same, same level, playing field, bro. And like I said, don't talk for to me, me. For me, like some days, if I'm listening to Kendrick all day, I might be like, man, Kendrick, yeah. And then if I'm listening listen to Cole all day, I might be like, man, Cole. Yeah. It just depends on like that shit's so interchangeable, bro. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, when a nigga asks you your top five, you can't have a tie. You gotta, you gotta have, have, yeah, you gotta one have one. Better. So it's yeah. like interchangeable, bro. Like one day it might be cold, one day it might be Kendrick, just depending on what I'm doing and listening. Day one and two, though. Yeah, bro. I okay. mean, I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not disrespecting that. Them niggas one and two. Okay. I wanna, this gonna be real quick. They the top Shout kid. out to all the Kendrick Lamar lovers. I fuck with y'all because I fuck with K Dot just as much as anybody else. <laughs> yeah. I fuck with Cole too, just as much as anybody else. They like my top favorite rappers. So speaking of top five, I wanted to ask you who, you, who your top five was. Talking about top five right now? Like top five or like the last generation. Not pop and big and all What's that. What's the last generation? Last generation is like 2010 till now. I'ma say so like Cole, when, when Drake and them came out. Cole, then. Kendrick, Drake, Future. And I'ma say. Cause see, that's another thing. Future, bro. Future is in there. I feel like I, niggas be disrespecting Future because of what he rap about and how he rap. I mean, yeah, um, and, how, and, he, and yeah. how he rap. Like he ain't the most lyrical nigga, but he got lyrics. He got yeah. bars in his he got shit. You got to listen. You got to listen. Bro, Future is one. Bro, I'm finna say it, bro. Future is one of the most influential niggas. I promise to God, that nigga is influential, bro. I'm finna say something else. Like, and bro. And finna piss him off. A lot, of rap, <laughs> a lot of these rap niggas want to be Future. Or, yeah. Well, they look up to Future in a way to the point where it's like this nigga is the go-to nigga to look up to. Yeah. For real. When you trying to make music. These this days, nigga, you go bro. listen to the future. And it's like, yeah, you, them niggas want to throw in the, like, the little drug shit and shit. Yeah, I feel where you coming from on that. But it's like, at the same time, bro, this nigga that reinvented himself so, so many, many different times, times yes. and every one of them slapped. Because the first time, one he came nigga, out with yeah. the astronaut status and streets calling, that's not the same future you hear now. That's but not that the, shit bro, was still up. killing this the thing game, about it. You got astronaut status. And that's not the same nigga you hear on Honest. That's not the same, same nigga. That, yes, bro. Honest, that's not the same nigga you hear on Monster Beast Mode 56 Nights. Yes, bro. And DS2. Then if you, you switch if you, again. If you ask it's me, like, if you ask me, I never liked you don't sound shit like them albums. It does not, bro. I never liked you don't sound a damn thing like Monster. And I feel like, like niggas be discrediting a nigga, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And then I guess I wouldn't put Kanye because that's not the same generation. You, would you put Wayne? Because that's not the same generation either. Or would you consider that? I'm saying you said. Because they was kind of like, because that was. Wayne popped. Nah. Wayne year was 2009, but Wayne been out though. But Wayne was popping before 2009. That's what Carter I'm saying. Carter 3 came out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so I'm is you saying yeah. from 2010 up? Yeah. If you saying 2010 up, I got Future, Cole, Drake. Um, Let's see if you put them in there. Because I know Kanye and them, they, they, I mean, I could put Kanye and them in there, but we trying to like just stick to the new niggas, bro. And Kanye. I guess Kanye was, he was kind of out before. Fuck it, bro. Fuck it. We're not going to put Kanye. We're just going to keep him in the other generation. Okay. Right? So we got Future Cole, Future Cole, Drake, and I might say Gates, bro. Thank you. I might say Thank Gates, you. bro. Thank you. Gates, but listen. I was though, like, bro. let me see if this nigga say it. Let me see if he going to forget about Gates. I might say and he Gates. did not forget. Kevin Gates, bro. That's but, another but, thing. Look, 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 though. 
Let me. What, what you finna say? I'm finna say you niggas be disrespecting Gates. Listen, bro. Gates is dead ass. I'm gonna tell you why, bro. It's the antics, bro. I don't even know. Oh, yeah. if they, I don't even know yeah. they antics, bro. I just think that's. It could just be his personality. But I mean, I don't give a fuck though. It's just it, yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying like this: if a person rock with you personally, yeah, they'll hold your music even higher. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? But like if niggas if they, don't rock with you. Yeah, yeah. If niggas don't see what you doing is what you know what I'm saying? Because that's why so many niggas be faking shit because yeah. they feel like they fans won't fuck with they the real yeah. person. Mm -hmm. But if you being a real person, you are gonna get a lot of hate from niggas. That nigga said for real though. If you <laughs> that nigga said. It's, you said you stand on the front line. That would it yes, takes to be a general. I'm like Gates. <laughs> but look though, look though, bro. I'm a, I'm gonna keep it honest with you, bro. I want Gates to go back to old Gates, man. Yeah. And it ain't even. And I, I bro. But I hate, it's crazy because like, I hate saying that though. But the thing about it is, it ain't even like his last shit's been trash. It ain't been. The trash. only thing I didn't fuck with was Kaza. But I never listened to it though. Yeah. I I started it too, and I'm like, I ain't fucking with it. And that's the only one and, where I was like, I'm not fucking with it. everything it, before that. It ain't been trash. It's just like. That boy said, do you remember I was bad off on the lean, no longer drink, put down a bottle? Look, but, Kevin, look, come on, man. Look, yeah, but look, that though, what about that, Um, like, bro, I don't know, bro. Gates, bro, held me down for a good few yes. years, bro. Bro. That nigga Gates was you know snapping what, on everything. You want to know what I was listening to you yesterday? Remember? What? I'm finna, hold up, uh, um, in seventh grade, we promised that we, we never, never break. Yeah. yeah, I was on listen, that. That's that old Gates. Man, go listen to that, that, that Kevin Gates. Go listen to Law. Go listen to Reasonable Suspicion. Go listen to them type tracks, bro. That nigga was getting off. Go old. listen to Tattoo Session. Tattoo Session. By Kevin Gates. Come on, bro. Come, Come on, bro. bro. At, bro, at one point, this, bro, I swear to God, I feel like at one point, that nigga was the hottest nigga out. Right before he went to jail. When mm -hmm. he dropped Isla, bro. You want to know why he won the hottest nigga out? To my future? Yes, because of future. But I feel it like was he was same, right there, though. He was there. He was he definitely was right there. Because right look, get what? That hoe went platinum, no features. No features. And guess what? DS2 went platinum with one feature. Yeah. And it was Drake. Because Drake wanted to be on that. I'm trying to tell but you, bro. But 20, bro, I ain't gonna lie. 2015 might have been the best year for music of all time. Bro, Gates was that This nigga. nigga, think about what came out in 2015. Let's just let's just run down right quick. Damn, Gotti in this bitch, though. Ain't Gotti a part of the new the new Hell no. When Gotti, hold up, bro. Gotti was out in the 2010s too, but bro. Gotti was out before that. Well, and he yeah. was hot before well, that. Yeah, we could put him. That's just like putting Jeezy in there. Well, yeah, Jeezy we was hot in the 2010, but yeah, the nigga could, was way we, hot before we could, that. We, we could put him out. We could put you him out. Me? But still, though, Gates though. Gates in that hoe, in Gates, my opinion. Gates for showing sure that. But bit, bro, bro, let's just run down 2015. You oh, had. I can't even remember 2015. I can't, I can't remember majority. You had. You listen. Yeah. You had to pimp a butterfly. That came out 15. Yes. Just listen. Uh -huh. You had to pimp a butterfly. DS2, what a time to be alive. If you're reading this, it's too late. Barter 6, Isla, Rodeo. Hold God up. Damn. Hold up. <laughs> you I had all that shit came out, bro. You had, even though we don't listen to Lil Uzi, Lil Uzi, what's the name, had came out that year. Yeah. And everybody fucked with it. Bro, 2015 was that. And it's even more that I can't really think of off the top of my head like that. But, bro. I feel like Kevin Gates just don't Lucci. get Lucci did drop. Yeah. Lucci drop. I feel like them niggas, bro, bro. That was a good year. But guess that what? That was a great ass year. Who was the hottest nigga in that motherfucker? Future. I feel like Future was still the hottest nigga in Future that. Future was the hottest. That nigga literally dead ass had DS2 and What a Time to Be Alive to drop. Yeah. But yeah. And but but then Drake dropped that if you're reading this too late. That shit had the streets on lock too. And Kendra dropped to Pip a Butterfly. Yeah. So. But yeah, man. The nigga Gates though, bro. Yeah. I promise, bro. Like niggas, bro, Gates. I don't think niggas really like take the time to appreciate that nigga Gates mm -hmm. what he brought to the table. Yeah, the nigga, bro, them first like <laughs> listen, bro, from Stranger, um, uh, from Make 'Em Believe, all the way from up, the first Luca Brasi, from the first Luca Brasi, bro, from paper the, chasing, yeah, from the Dion first Luca Brasi, I hop, bro, to got I hop, fucking I hop, bro. Bro, this nigga was on one, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie to you, that nigga Gates was like when I was listening to Gates, bro. I was like, this nigga is that you know yeah. that, that nigga, bro. I swear to God, that nigga, bro. Reasonable suspicion. That show, that show, song right there. Cause up. he, be, bro, he said, bro, he said some of the realest shit, bro. Yeah, for sure. And he was saying some of the realest shit in a rap form, like, bro. Mm -hmm. He was, bro. I promise that nigga was saying some real shit, bro, about what niggas go through in life, bro. And then you may not realize yeah. it, bro. Weak niggas get insecure and get, get loud, loud when they, they feel, feel uncomfy. uncomfy. 
come on, bro. You that was some it. real shit. Cause I was <laughs> like, I was, shit. yeah, yeah, <laughs> like for real. Weak niggas insecure and get loud when they feel uncomfortable. Like showing niggas, like niggas, bro. Cause you see a lot of niggas get loud in situations when, when they, they don't, don't need, even to, need be. to be loud. Exactly, like, just bro. Talking cause they uncomfortable. And it'd be the it be the he was saying the shit you was thinking, but didn't know how to phrase it. And then yeah. he phrased it. I was he like, this it. nigga, bro. Gates. And then Gates, people bro. don't believe it, bro. But believe it or not, this nigga Gates can go in a hit battle with anybody. Yeah, he got hits. With a lot of motherfuckers. He got hits. He got hits for sure. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man. Type shit. Type shit, bro. Go listen to all them niggas. Type shit, bro. Gates, Kendrick, Cole, Future, Drake. Yeah, that's my um I that, feel like that that's might my, be my top, top five, five from the net from, from the last generation. generation. Yeah. From 2010. And that's just me personally, yeah. bro. Because you got so many other great people like Lucha. You got other A lot niggas. of people you put got, Travis. You got Thug. You got remember, Travis. Remember they did the Mount Rushmore, right, of the 2010s? Uh-huh. And it had, um, it obviously had Drake, Cole, Kendrick. But then they was like, if you had to pick a fourth, who would you put? I would put Future. I would put Future as the fourth. Because for, as far as like the trap scene, he had it on lock. And at that point, trap was becoming like so big. But you want to know why it come big? Because of him. You feel me? Tight shit. But man, bro, like I was telling y'all boys, it's, it's Kendrick and Cole. Don't ever say Kendrick over Cole. Don't ever say no shit like that. You feel me? It's two niggas that's the best in the game right now, in my opinion. In the majority's opinion. So yeah. But yeah, though, bro, like, future. Yeah. Future. future. Last future. generation, bro. That future, nigga, future. That nigga, He's bro. bro, it's been 13 years, the nigga still. The nigga, the nigga just sold the biggest album last year. Nigga and he dropped, dog. and guess what? The same year as Kendrick. Shit crazy, bro. <laughs> Shit crazy, bro. No said, bro. No said. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to hit you with a topic since you said I ain't got none. You feel me? Okay, let's see what you got. Okay. I don't know if I don't know if I want to hit you in the, hit you with the real deep one. See, he's stuttering because he ain't got one. Okay, I'm going to hit you with the real deep one on that ass just because you're trying me right now. Right? All right, what's up? All right, so say, look. Okay, look. You got a son, right? Your firstborn son. Okay. But you can only give him one lesson or give him one thing of, you know, one advice. Yeah. For the rest of his life. You can only give him one. Like, okay. what would be the most important Ooh. thing to teach your son? What's the number one most important thing to teach your son? It's so many shit out. It's so much shit out there. This is what I would say. Let yeah. me rephrase it. Let me rephrase okay, yeah, it. Let me, yeah, let me rephrase it again. Let me, let me break it down. Let me, yeah, Cause break I'm, it I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to say it how I got you it. You want real. me to answer first? Yeah, I'll let you answer first, then I'll go. Because okay. I kind of got my shit, bro. Okay, bitch. Okay. You got one son, right? Mm-hmm. What's the only lesson or the very first lesson? Because you... Oh, no, no. You got one son, but you can only teach him one lesson okay. for the rest of his life. Mm-hmm. What would be that one lesson? What's the most important thing that you would teach your son? It's so much important shit mm. out there that he needs to know, but you can only teach him one thing for the rest of his life. What would be the most important lesson to teach your son? Okay. If you had one. Can I cheat right quick? Can I give two? No. No, I'm not going to give him two. I'm just saying, can I give you the two options that I'm going for? Like, that I would pick? Because I'm going to pick one. Just but, pick one. Okay, then. Don't even do the two. You, that, see, okay, that's babe. what make it yeah, even, that, more yeah, even more you interesting. You got to choose between your one. two. Okay, bet, 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 bet. I know what I'm going to pick, though. You go first. I want to hear what you're going to say. I'm going to pick, because um, I feel like this. Matter of fact, no, nah, I'm going to go first. You're going to go first. All right, go ahead. Go, but what you about to say, though? No, nah, I mean, if you're going to go first. Okay, all right. All right, I'm going to go first, bro. The the number one lesson that you might, I. You might be on the same page. Go ahead. The number one lesson I would teach my son, bro. Yeah. Is, is probably, no, is going to be. You might be on the same page. Keep. Mm, your word is more valuable than anything in the world. Yes. So make sure you keep it at all times. Yes. So basically, what that means is, if you keep in, if you say you're going to do some shit, or if you say you're about some shit, stand on it no matter the Bro, principle. Yes. We said, this, we said the same thing? Mine is different. Just a little different. Just a little different? Okay, bet. Mine is... Bro, stand for what you believe in. Yeah, that's the, I feel yes. like I feel yes. like, bro, everything else will come behind that. Yeah, because you're look, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you stand for what you believe in, right, uh-huh. you're going to automatically gain respect. Mm-hmm. And you're going to automatically lead because you're going to be the dude that's standing, standing for, what for what you, what you believe, believe in, in, not yes. what everybody else yeah. believe in. Uh-huh. So you're going to automatically stand out from the crowd. 
right? Yeah. Okay. Which is going to automatically teach you, teach you respect. Mm-hmm. It's going to teach you to be a leader mm-hmm. off the rip. Off the rip. That shit just going to come natural when you stand on what you believe in. Yeah. Then when you stand on what you believe in, you gonna co- it's going to come with hate. It's going to come mm-hmm. with people hating you. So you're going to automatically like, start learning, okay, I can't fuck with this nigga yeah. the way I need to. Yeah. Or it's going to be you know times when niggas going to okay. hate on me. Yeah. I feel like that shit is just make you... I feel like that's the the lesson that that needs to be that needs yeah. to be taught, and then everything else will come from you learning that lesson. If you learn mm-hmm. that lesson properly, mm-hmm. then everything else gonna fall into place. Like the yeah. respect, the loyalty. You don't because like if you stand on what you believe in, no matter what, you a man. You standing on it. If you don't want to go hang with these niggas, you mm-hmm. ain't got to. You, ain't got you stand to. on it. Yeah. If you feel like you don't want to see a uh, uh, if you in a grocery store and you see a man put his hand on a woman mm-hmm. you don't you don't like that you don't stand for that so you jump in and you do something mm-hmm. or if for anything like you see a nigga getting bullied you see a nigga getting bullied you stand up to that bully or yeah. if you trying to get money right uh huh and you got a product or you got a passion for something you stand on your passion mm-hmm. and you ride it out I feel like that's the first lesson that's the first lesson stand and on then what you everything in. else comes but back. that's low key probably the best lesson the because best it's lesson literally, bro. like you say once you stand on what you believe in you will learn everything else. everything else gonna come with it bro but damn see not but see mine was like that but a little different. it was yours was like that but it was because it, I feel like because basically it's the yeah. same thing because if you stand on what you believe in that means that's your word. On word yeah you stand, you stand, you stand on your word, word bro yeah. like yeah. you don't I was basically saying like. Yeah, basically the same shit. You don't yeah. go against. You don't go against your I feel word. Like that's the number one rule. Well, if not you, rule. If you say you're gonna do some shit, do it. If you say this, is what you believe in, do you it. Stand on it. Stand on if it. If you bro. say you're not doing this, don't do it and stand on it. I feel like that's the that's one of the best foundations well, of being a man. bro. That's literally like the same shit. Not that you think about. Yes, it. that's <laughs> it's like saying. the exact same shit almost. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's just worded differently. Yeah. Like, like I'm saying, like I feel like. That's like the mo- that's like the foundation for being a real nigga. Yeah. Or a real man. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. You you being a real man because you stand mm-hmm. on it, bro. Because you standing on that you shit. You willing to take everything that come with you standing on it, bro. Mm-hmm. I the feel hate, like that's the what's gonna negativity. Yes. Is good, that's what's gonna make you a man, bro. Yeah, yeah. Those trip you standing on what you believe is, is gonna make you go through shit mm-hmm. to make you a man, bro. Yeah, yeah. Simple as that, bro, because everything gonna come with it. Negativity, hate, mm-hmm. um, untrustworthy then you might get respect loyalty friendships like i'm telling you bro you, you might be get, a leader you might get fear yes bro people might fear you F- people might fear you or you might fear what you're doing yeah because you stand on it so much you might you might think it might be the wrong thing yes but, but you see stand that's on where it, you that's where that's it, where you stand yeah, on that's it, where you be like fuck it i'm standing on it regardless I'm standing on it regardless and that's what's like the wrong bro. thing or not and you gonna live and die about it that mm-hmm. would make you a man bro yeah, i yeah. feel like that's the best one bro but I feel like that question might have a lot of niggas stumped at first. Yeah, because it's a lot of shit you it's can say. It's a lot of shit you can teach. But like you said, if you say that, you basically saying everything, everything else to him. Yeah. Stand yeah, on yeah. what you believe in. Stand on what you believe in. Is that is this that? Never go against it. Never go once against you go against it, it's not going to come back around to you. And then look at it like this. Once you go against what you believe in, you start to break down in yourself. Yes. Like you're, you're not confident in yourself now. Yeah. Once you go back. On your word or go back or get something you believe in, it's like, damn, if you, like, I let example, myself down more just than like, anything Just else. like, for example, Kendrick and Cole thing. Yeah. You can stand, like, for example, I may be a minority saying that, oh, yeah, nigga, Kendrick is not better than Cole. Yeah. I can be in a room full of Kendrick supporters, but <laughs> I'm not going to change yeah. and be like, nah, man, I ain't say that. Kendrick still. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you change, then you ain't believing in yourself. Yeah. Even though that's like a small comparison. It's yeah. Like, it's basically the same thing. If yeah, you in bro. a room full of niggas and that's standing on some shit that's completely different from you, but you don't fuck with it, still stand on what you believe in. Yeah. Because if you turn into somebody else, you're not a man anymore. You're just some fucking nigga. Follower. A follower. You're not. Yeah. You feel me? I feel like that's the story. Like the. That's the. That's the. That's. That's, that's what's fucked up around here. Yeah, niggas bro. is followers they not leaders they not their own person and they don't stand on what they believe in bro Mm-mm. cause this why you wanna know why they don't stand on what they believe in cause they, cause like, they don't what? cause they don't believe in shit in the first place yeah <laughs> it's nothing that they believe in so it's like obviously they believe in God and all the other shit but they only believe what other niggas believe in yes bro they, they don't believe that okay man like for example I dress different from everybody in the city yeah and I'm probably one of the only niggas that do that but I'm not finna change the way I dress just to go around and fit in with somebody else. I stand on that. If I dress this way, I like it. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. And niggas nowadays are not doing shit like that, which yeah. is why you got nobody out here standing on principle, standing on their word. They'll tell you some shit, and it'll be fucked up by the end of the day. 
They won't believe it. They won't. Yeah. You feel me? They won't. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got, Tight like, shit. I feel like, bro, if you lose that within yourself, it's like. If you lose that, you lost everything. It's hard to get it back, too. It's like, bro. Yes. Very hard. Stand on this shit, bro. Yeah. You know? And everybody has problems doing it. I'm not sitting here saying that everybody is a perfect person and going to stand on everything 1,000%. Yeah, it's going to be shit where you feel like, damn. Or you might have to compromise on yes, certain shit. Yes. But it, for the yeah. majority of them, stand, on, everything like, you stand on your shit, bro. Yeah, bro. Be a man, bro. And, I, and you know, and <laughs> be a man. You want to know who I learned this from, bro? Who that? You finna laugh, bro. But I learned this from Steve Rogers, a.k.a. Captain America. This nigga. Captain... <laughs> Bro, Captain America is one of the realest niggas I ever seen. You know what I mean? Like, this nigga, like, bro, he just he was just so real. And it's just like Yeah, bro. He was just a real nigga. And I just learned a lot of lessons from him. Even though he fake. Yeah. Even though Chris Evans is not really Captain America. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he still got traits of a person that could be walking today. So it's like I learned a lot of the shit from him. The way he's selflessness, the way his selflessness is way over his selfishness. He ain't selfish at all. You feel what I'm saying? He just, he tell the truth all the time. 99% of the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He stand on everything he say. When, whether it was wrong or not, he still believed that, bro, this is better. So he stood on it. Which is why I feel like a lot of niggas gravitated towards him. Because mm -hmm. that's what they look want they, to they, do. That's what yeah. they want to do. But, but they, they don't, don't do it. it. And I do it because of that. I do it because of that one reason, just because I feel like Captain America did it, so I want to do it because that's some real <laughs> shit. Yeah, bro. Like, you know? I just, I just, bro, well, I don't give a damn what color you is. I just, I just fuck with real shit. Yeah. And I fuck with, like, um, I fuck with real shit and real principles. Y'all may have not, y'all may not fuck with Gates because of what he be doing. Yeah. But in the interview, this nigga said, literally, I don't see color. I see real and, and fake. fake. So it's like you either real or you're not. Yes. You feel what I'm saying? And I just feel like, and then I obviously niggas have different definitions of what real is. Yeah, because you can you could be you could be my same color and be fake as fuck. fake as fuck. And I just don't fuck with you. You could be a lame ass nigga. Yeah. Or you can be a white man. Or, or I can come over Indian here with, or uh, anything Indian, a and be a real ass nigga. Bro, I got a cool ass Mexican partner that I knew when I was working at my old job. For real? Cool, bro. Never, never did man? no fuck shit. Nah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't heard from him in a minute. Yeah. But I'm saying, never did no fuck yeah. shit, bro. Yeah, never. And mm -hmm. he was like, it was, you know how, like, never did no flexing. Yeah. Never did no fuck shit. Never tried to like talk. I never seen him talk. And then he, he kind of remind me of myself. I never talk about a nigga behind their back yeah. unless, well, no, unless I'm willing to say it to your face, like. Yeah. I don't do that shit. Like, mm -mm. like when you first, like, for example, you ever been like in a. In a situation like a party, or you are you going to a new school, or you going to a new job, and the first nigga walk up to you and he already talking shit by somebody else. You the new nigga, right? Yeah. But he talking shit by somebody else. I'm like, I'm looking at you sideways, nigga. Like, why the fuck you telling me this man business, bro? <laughs> exactly. That's some shit I would never do. That's clown shit, bro. Anything I gotta say, I'm gonna say it to the person. Yeah, bro. I have never said anything behind anybody back. I don't see that. I don't see that being cool. That like, shit ain't real. That man. ain't cool, bro. You. You come at me talking about another person. I don't even know you. And you a grown man. You a grown man. I don't know you from nothing. This is my first day. <laughs> this is my first day at the job. This is my first day at the school. Yeah. The first thing you saying to me, not like, hey man, where you from? Or you know you what, 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 what you doing? Yeah. First thing you come out your mouth is you see that nigga right there? That nigga right there. Don't don't do that. Don't 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 say nothing. Don't kick it with that nigga. That nigga be tripping, man. He be on yeah, the bullshit. I'm like, bro, I don't know you neither. I don't know you either, bro. So I'm not finna kick it with your ass. Like, cause I, you oh you at least I don't know you or him, but at least he ain't come over here talking about no other nigga. Yeah, I ain't you see, see him come over here talking about you. Exactly. I ain't see him come over here and tell me, man, nah. Like it's that, different from no, when you bro, talking I, to I'm a not new rocking kid. with that, bro. It's different from when you talking to a new kid and you be like, hey man, look, just stay away from them. They be on some yeah. different type of time or like just try to steer clear and shit like that. It's different to advise a nigga than to just straight up talk about a nigga yes. behind his back, bro. You yes, feel bro. Me? Like, like and you can you can tell the difference, bro. Yes. Like I don't do that. If shit. If bro come up and be like that nigga, man, don't go around that nigga, bro. His ass, he he ain't got no money. He or some shit like that. Yeah. That's literally talking behind a nigga back. Yes, bro. But if you new kid and I've been around the school and I'm like, hey, bro, um, that that's they little click or whatever they be doing that just still clear from that they be you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different. 
Yeah. If you don't like, you feel me? Yeah. I'm not telling you they bad people. I'm not telling you that they fuck niggas or what. I'm just saying it probably be best if you just, you know, yeah, chill. bro. It's way different than saying, oh yeah, them niggas lame as fuck. That tell you them niggas ain't nothing. Them niggas ain't exactly. That shit bro. way different, bro. Because when 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 you come at me like when you come at me talking shit, I don't know you right. And you come at me talking shit about another person or another man, and you a man yourself. I'm looking at you sideways. I'm trying to figure out like. What nigga, the, the first thing, the first thing gonna happen if me and you get into it, you gonna go do the same shit to me. Like I don't rock with that, nigga. Mind your fucking business. <laughs> don't go tell me nobody else business. That ain't no, yeah. that's not your that's not your place to speak on. Mm-hmm. And I feel like as a man, you should know that shit. Niggas don't yeah. know that shit though. Like most of the business that's that be going on that they see, that's not your business to speak on, bro. Mm-hmm. Like if you okay, for example, you see if you got a homeboy, right, or you got a coworker. And you see him going through shit with his wife. Mm-hmm. That's not your business to go tell the whole fucking company. Oh, this nigga, was, he was just out there arguing with his wife. What type of shit you on, bro? <laughs> mind your fucking business, man. Like, that shit pissed me. Now, that's one thing that pissed me off, bro. When I see niggas not minding their fucking business. Yeah, that shit lame as like, fuck. bro. It's a lot of business out here. And you ain't even in your own you shit. You ain't in, in your, bro, why is you worrying about what that man got going? Come and on, like man. I said, even if. You, you a grown you, ass man. Even if you couldn't help but overhear it. Yes. That's still not your place to go talk exactly. to nobody else about that, bro. If, That's any, not if real. anything, the real shit you could do, if you want to talk about it, yeah. is go talk to that man. Yeah, I'll be like, hey, hey man, bro, you good, you bro? Good? You know, I, I, you feel me? You talk to yeah. you, you real? And if he be like, nah, man, I'm good. All right. All right, bet. Bet. I got and niggas. And leave that shit at that. Yes, bro. I got people. I got people like that that told me shit that I have never said to anybody bro. else. I, swear I have to God. never said it to anybody else because it's not my business yes, to speak exactly. on it, bro. Exactly. That's real. Exactly. You don't you don't let nobody gonna tell you like you don't a person not gonna tell you something, and then you go run and tell the whole everybody else you like no, bro. And then it's I don't know what That's it is. That's not real. I don't know what it is, bro. But people are very comfortable with talking to me. And I don't yeah. know. And sometimes I don't even know these people like that. That's what I'm saying. Like, I got that same effect, bro. Yeah. I can walk into the grocery store and, and then, then this nigga. The whole life story. The whole life story. And I'm story. like, oh, yeah, for real. That's, you know? I'm sitting there like, okay. But I'm not finna goddamn. I'm not finna dismiss you, right? Yeah, I'm listening to I'm gonna you. Listen bro. To I'm going to listen to let you. Let you get your shit off. But I'm not finna go tell nobody else your business, bro. Yeah. I'm like, bro. I'm telling you, bro. It's stuff that I know. That, that nobody have, knows to that this I day. have never known yes. because I mean that I would never tell because it's like it's, it's not, not my place business, to yeah. it's not my it's place, not, bro. bro. It's not my place. It's not at all, bro. And I just don't understand why niggas don't learn that. You should learn that at an early age. It's you not, should just know that all honestly, all real. It should be like, in your DNA. Not to go yes. run and tell nobody business. Because that's not your place. That's not that's not no. Nah, man. That nigga that shit ain't real, man. That's a good ass topic though. Yeah, for that real. One about the sun question. Cause it led to all this shit. Yeah, talking bro. about now, yeah. bro. Like, and hey, you talking about I ain't had no good time. You feel? Yeah, I came with a good one. Let me tell you something. What's happening? Shut up. Shut up, bro. Shut up. What's your topic? I bet it's some booty shit. It's a good. It's a funny one. This what? it ain't a funny one. It's a fun one, and it's finna get real hectic in this motherfucker. You ready, all right, bro? I'm ready now. Cause I'm come. I come with all the best topics. You ready? You don't though. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go. For all my black folks out there. I got a question for y'all, man. All my black folks. Well, everybody but black folks. You ready? Yeah. Fried chicken versus fried fish. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wee. Hey, this thing. (laughs) Mm. Hey, bro. I'm finna keep. Fried chicken versus fried fish. Come on, bro. I'm about to keep it a brick with you, bro. I know what you about to say. It's fucking fried chicken all day long. I'm not playing no game, bro. You get a good piece of fried chicken, it's shitting on that fish any day, bro. And and I'm ready to go to bat about that fried chicken. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Because, look, you got you saying fried chicken. That means fried chicken wings, fried chicken thighs, Hold fried on, chicken now. legs. Hold on. You tripping, now. bro. Is you crazy? What you talking Have about? Have your ass ever had? I know, bro. Come on, bro. bro Grandma fried, fried fish. Hold up. Fried chicken is better than fried fish, bro. Hold on, now. Call, slow your roll. Bro. Slow your goddamn roll. What? Slow your roll. I have never this this one thing I will say. I never in my life had a nasty piece of fire fish. I have had chicken where I was like, okay, it's all right. It's all right. Mm. Bro, you tripping, bro. I'm dead ass. 
But I am dead ass. Don't ask the question fried fish and then fried chicken and then bring up a time you had bad fried chicken. That ain't how it works. You either bringing up the good chicken that you had or the good fish you had. Okay, well, let's do that. The good chicken versus the good fish yes, I had. And the I good had, fish have been better. No, bro. I done had way better fish. I mean, way better chicken than fish in my life, bro. I promise you, bro. Listen, I'm finna, man, listen, bro. I'm going to put you on some chicken, dog. You on fried some fried fucking fish. Yes. It's not, bro, fried fish is not better than fried chicken, bro. Because you're talking about chicken thighs, chicken wings, chicken legs, chicken tenders. Bro, no, nigga. Fried you tripping. fish. Just because that shit got more variety, that don't make it fucking better, nigga. Bro, it ain't even necessarily got more variety because you can fry so many different types of fish. But guess what? It still ain't touching the fucking chicken, bro. So You out your mind, bro. So fried salmon, fried catfish, fried You about to lose like your shit. You about to lose your shit, bro. bro. You crazy, bro. I don't bro, know. I feel like it's more of a debate than you just sitting here saying fucking fried chicken. It ain't no fucking debate. Yes, it is. It ain't no. You crazy as fuck, bro. You is crazy. Not, it's not no debate, bro. Fried chicken is better than fried fish. That is definitely a debate, bro. Because first off, and you talking about you never had no fried fish. You ever had a fried piece I of fish that was mushy, bro? Niggas don't cook fish right sometimes, and neither does niggas Come cook on, chicken. Bro. Some niggas don't cook chicken right. That shit be too fucking burnt. It be too damn crispy. You ain't got no goddamn meat. This man. You ain't got no goddamn meat on that motherfucker, this man. man is I'm down. just saying, bro. I'm not. This is all I wanted to say. I feel like it should have been. It should. It's definitely more of a debate than you sitting here just saying, oh, fried chicken. I'm going to be way. honest with you. Because your ass fucked I'm up. I'm going to be honest with you. I love fried fish. Fried, fried fish. Fried fish is not better than fried you get chicken. A good, you get a good ass plate of them grits. How they have fried fish on the side? Man, get your crazy, crazy ass, ass out of here, bro. Get your ass out of here. The fried chicken is better, bro, nigga. Bro, you get a motherfucking, you get a good ass, you get a good ass goddamn soul food dish, collard green with the mac and cheese with the fried fish on the oh, side. Oh, the fried chicken. What the is fried fish on this? the side? Man, come on, bro. Get this clown ass nigga out of here, bro. I ain't never heard a nigga, oh, yeah, man, come on by the house, we having a chicken fry. Oh, yeah, come on by the house, nigga, we having a fish fry, nigga. A fish fry, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I got neighbors, nigga. I got neighbors. Oh, yeah, you do got neighbors. Got neighbors upstairs. upstairs, nigga. Shut up. You but listen, bro. Listen, bro. This nigga, bro. Bro, this nigga is out of pocket, bro. I'm just saying, I never heard of a chicken fry. Pull up for the chicken fry today, y'all. Bro. I heard plenty of thousands of niggas. Hey, man, come on, bro, man. We got a I fish fry. I believe this nigga said fish. Man, you know fish damn well. is better than fried chicken. Bro, you know damn And you well making well. me shit on fried you fish because I love well. fried fish. When Pops was making them fried fish plates. Every motherfucking day that when we eat them whole with bro. the grits. I'm come sorry, on, dog. Man. That ain't better than no fried chicken. A good piece of... Bro, I... Okay, didn't... so would you rather have fish and grits or chicken and waffles? Chicken and waffles. You know what? No, you no. Finna, you no, no, finna no, make hold me hold mad, Wait, bro. wait, 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 wait. I take that back. I re- but that don't, bro. No, bro. It, hold you on. Ain't putting no side dishes on the shit, bro. You trying to add too much? No, I'm not. Shut up. I'm just asking a simple question. This nigga getting shitted on, so he trying to add more. How shit the fuck to am it? I getting shitted on? This nigga said fried fish. Fried fish is probably better, bro. Hold on, what fried fish? Let's 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 talk about it. I can't really name the specifics. We could pick one. I could pick one fry. I could pick fried chicken wings, and you could pick one fish. Which one is the best fish to fry? Okay, what the fish is that Pop used to fry? Just for 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 like breakfast. I think um. To Fuck swing. it. We could we could just do fried salmon because we didn't have fried ass salmon fish. Listen, bro. Versus a fucking fried chicken wing. Is you crazy? Nigga, chicken. First, you can get a chicken thigh. You can get a chicken breast, and that shit is not better than Did fried salmon. Did you not just say the other couple podcasts ago that chicken wings is the best food on earth? When what it got f- flavors and shit man, on it, nigga. I was not speaking about a regular fried ass wing. This nigga is. This I was lit. You know what the fuck I was talking about when I said that? You know I wasn't talking about no goddamn regular ass wing, bro. First off, you don't even fry salmon. You cook salmon in the oven, or but you cook you it can in the skillet. Fry salmon. Right, you never do seen know no, that. Right, I've never seen no fried salmon. You never ate a fried salmon. Not with skin on it. You shit, missing out. You, you is missing out. How have you never had fried salmon? Bro, you out of pocket, bro. You out of pocket, bro. You it's definitely chicken, out of pocket. It's, it's, it's fried chicken, bro. I don't know about that, bro. I, I, I bet any type of money, bro. We going to see. It's I fried just, chicken. I just wish that you was a real nigga because you're not. Because you didn't. I'm the realest nigga you know, Because you got to sit and think about the fact that you finna take fried chicken or fried fish. I'm the realest nigga you know. My favorite food on earth is chicken wings. How the fuck I'm going to go against that? That's my favorite food on earth. So what the hell are we talking about? You acting like I'm talking about a chicken wing that's fried. I'm talking about chicken wings with flavors and things of that nature. Bro, a fried chicken wing is still good, just like flavor. It, it is, but it's not better than a fried you know what? piece of fucking chicken. I'm going to take you to the spot that I, bro. I'm going to take you to this chicken spot, bro. Some of what? the best chicken I had. Crispy, on- crunchy chicken? Yeah. I wanted to try that shit. I ain't going to lie. It's some, some of the best chicken I ever had in my life. 
and you tripping, bro. I'm just saying, bro. You, 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 Fried fish is you definitely. Been, you been on one this last week, bro. I don't know what the fuck wrong with you, bro. You said, I don't know what the hell is wrong with you, bro. How? Nigga, it's, it's definitely a debate to be had right here. I don't think it's a debate at all. It's crazy. As fuck, I bro. don't think it's a debate at all. It's crazy. Fish is great. Fish is so good. Fried fucking but fish. Fried chicken is so much better. Like, I, I ain't gonna lie. I done had, bro, it's better to season fried chi- fried fish. What? Season, if you had a, se- have you ever had a seasoned fried fish, like with a bunch of good ass seasons on it, bro? That bro, shit yeah. is, w- if you make, look, if a nigga make the best, That's just like hold up, <laughs> if a nigga make the best chicken wing on earth, and somebody make the best fried fish on earth, the fried fish is going to be better. Oh my God. Yes, it is, Dre. No, it would not. It would not. Bro. The texture of fish is just better anyway. The texture of a good ass. <laughs> hey man, I'm gonna let y'all decide in the comments or Please wherever. tell this nigga he bugging. Fried fish and versus fried Please chicken is definitely some bugging. shit this that nigga, needs to be this studied. Just, bro, bro, just blew my mind though. I can't believe that shit because I thought you wasn't thousand percent would have said, "Oh yeah, fried fish, fried fish got that." I ain't gonna lie. I don't know why the hell you thought I would say that. Because fried fish is fucking is fried fish. I don't know why you thought I would say that foolish shit. That's foolish. Shut up, bro. Shut shut the hell that, up. That come from a nigga. I eat. I'm a food guy. I eat food all the time. I love food, right? Oh, really? And that no, bro. You, you ain't been around the block that many times. You clearly. lost that, but you lost that, bro. No, I didn't. You bro. gonna lose that? How debate. much you want to bet I win? You gonna lose that? Debate. We could bet right now. That more people say chicken. Yes. Man, no, that more people say fish. What you wanna bet, bro? We could bet my next movie ticket. Bet. The fuck is you talking about? We nigga? could bet it. Hold on, what you talking about? Movie ticket. Hold on. Hold on. I'm talking about you could if if I if I get more votes, yeah. you can pay for my next movie ticket. Bet you out of pocket, bro. You lose. Hey, you see this? You okay. gonna lose, bro. Bet. You gonna lose, bro. Bet. Next topic. This nigga out of pocket, bro. You got something else? Yeah, I got something else. Cause that shit was just wild. Nigga. That shit wasn't wild, bro. I just hate that you just disrespected fried fish like that. That's this nigga wild. said, bro, fried chicken. Fried chicken. Is you crazy? Have you ever not? Have you not had some great ass fried fish? What you get two, three thick ass, long ass fish seasoned well properly. You telling me that ain't better than the motherfucking you, six piece? I don't think you'd have had no good fried chicken. You been eating the fast food fried chicken. I'm talking about some good homemade, good fried, good Nigga, seasoned chicken. Nigga, we just had fried chicken the other night. Oh my mama, mama just cooked that shit literally like two days ago. That shit was good as hell. Bro. She had, she look, she made regular fried chicken. She was good. I'm talking about great as fuck. She had the honey garlic and the honey hot. She made all three of that shit last, literally like two bro, nights you, ago. Bro. You, you out of pocket, bro. Nah, bro. I think fish. I think it's fried fish. Speaking of movie ticket, bro, what you 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 finna? How many movies you finna see today? I guess I'm gonna just have to see this one, bro. Yeah, I, we going to see Oppenheimer. As soon I, as this podcast, I really over. wanted to see Mission Impossible, and I really wanted to see Ninja Turtles. And there's a new scary movie coming out. And there's a new the scary- Nun Two coming out. The Nun Two. Oh yeah, look. That shit finna be trash. I want to make a statement right here. You, you're a scary movie fan, right? Or do you consider yourself a scary movie fan? Sort of. I'm into scary movies, but I'm more into thrill movie, thrillers. Yeah. I'm not Me into too. just straight horror because that but shit be boring half the time. Guess what? Guess what? This is what I'm saying. What? I got a statement to make. Okay, what's up? If you consider yourself a scary movie fan, uh-huh. right, and you don't watch your scary movie, like for example, if you can't watch your scary movie at home, alone, in the dark, mm-hmm. by yourself, mm-hmm. you ain't no real scary movie fan, in my opinion. Like for example, if you can't watch a scary movie like that, yeah, you, you ain't wouldn't. no real scary movie fan. Because look, that, that shit is so that shit so exciting, bro. Yeah, when you, when you by yourself at home in the dark alone at nighttime yeah. watching a good scary movie, that shit. The best entertainment, some of the best entertainment, and if you can't do that, you not no real scary movie fan. I'm standing on that. I feel you. Hey, I respect it. I'm not a horror fanatic. I'm not one of them guys that just watch horror movies all the time. Yeah, but I have checked out a couple. I ain't gonna lie. The last horror movie that scared me was Barbarian, bro. Barbarian. And I'm gonna say it like this: Barbarian was not even a scary movie. It wasn't a horror. It was like that's the type of shit I like. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like even though it was scary, it's like. It wasn't just, it was it was more eerie. It was more like eerie and like yeah. thrilling than just scary as fuck. Than just, oh my God, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare type shit. Yeah. It was only really like maybe one jump scare in the whole movie. And that's when Bruh got his goddamn head. Spoiler warning. That's when Bruh got his head smashed into the wall. That's the only time. <laughs> I saw, no, ki- no kidding. Yeah. 
that's the only time I was like, oh shit. That's the only time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, bro, um, I feel what he's saying though. Because I watched that whole in the dark. And I watched it on my phone. So it's like, it was even more scary on my phone because I had the shit like, it was like this. Like, so you know how you watching on TV, it'd be, you know, way back or whatever. I had that whole like this up to my face. So when I seen Bird get his damn head smashed, I was like, damn, you dead ass. That shit scared the shit out of me. Because it come on with Shorty and she like, um, and they get the same Airbnb or some shit. Yeah. And the whole time they I love the theme of the movie because the whole time they making it seem like, like brother nigga. Yeah, the brother, the killer, brother, weird and shit. But turns out he was a good nigga the whole time. The whole time. And Brudget got his ass murdered. Bro was a damn fool. He, he was a dumb ass, ass though. On, he he, he, he could have survived. He, avoided he dead in one thousand percent could have survived. He but you but this is what the theme was, I guess. Yeah. That men don't really listen to like women. Because in the whole movie, she yeah. was kind of being like ignored by everything. Her boyfriend, the nigga that stayed there with her, yeah. the cops. They was all like just kind of like listening. Yeah. And I ain't gonna say that's the theme of, but that was kind of like sort of a message in there. It was an underlying message. Yeah. Because she literally ran down that home, like, bro, do not go down there, don't go down there. And he went down there anyway. Bro, my favorite part of the movie is the ending when bruh pushed the ass oh, yeah. up off that motherfucker. And it ain't my favorite and see, part because that's why, and see that's the thing. It's my favorite part because we was not expecting this nigga to do that, bro. This nigga was selfish than the mother. Yeah, yeah, we he was, was not the fuck expecting nigga. him to do that shit, bro. Barbarian man, that whole was probably one of my favorite movies. That was a bro. good ass movie, bro. I wish I seen it in theaters, but get somebody went to watch it without me. My bad. Bro. Could, then y'all could take a guess who the fuck did it. My bad, bro. Nigga went in. I said, bro, we gotta go watch that Barbarian. My bro, this you nigga be, never watched it. You be tripping sometimes. Nigga. I swear to God, I don't be tripping. I'm always the one saying we need to go watch something. You never want to do it. Listen, we finna go watch Oppenheimer as soon as it's over. Yeah, at 10:20 a.m. What time it is anyway? Cause we on we low key on crunch time. At 10:20 a.m. 10:20. Yeah, that's when it start. It's 8:45. We can go by another 30. Yeah, we can go by another 30. Yeah, I wasn't rushing sure. it, but oh, okay. Um, I just cause we is short on time today. Cause that motherfucker start and that's a long ass movie. Yeah, yeah. But look. Bro, speaking of like thriller type shit, you need to go watch this TV show called Severance. Severance? Severance. Sever. Severance. <laughs> <laughs> For real, bro. I'm going to put it on the list, bro. Bro, that TV show crazy. It's like a slow thriller. Okay. It's very slow. You know what TV show I was going to watch? What? The, um, the Tom Holland joint. I don't even know what you're talking about. For real? It's called A Crowded Room. Oh, yeah. I was going to watch that whole until I seen them getting it. You feel me? Yeah. Until I seen that shit. I was like, that ain't it, bro. They had my man going outside. But wait, where's the... um? I was going to put it in my notes, but I'll just do it later. Severance. Severance. I'll I, I put it on there for you. Who like star in it? Is it anybody we know? Yeah. Um, Let me see. Do you... You remember the nigga from Transformers, right? Um, The first or the second Transformers? The nigga, the older nigga, right? W- Wiki. I mean, not w- the, Wiki, but um, the older nigga, that was um, a the agent. No, the dude that had all the little shit about the he, he was standing at his mama meat meat um uh, he was standing in the basement of his mama meat shop. Yeah, and he was older, bro. He was older, dude. The yeah, agent. He, yeah, he was yeah, agent. Nigga, my bad. Agent. My bad. He was a sector seven. Sector seven. He was in there. Um, okay. I mean, he in it. My boy. Um. Scott, his last name, I think Scott, I think his last name is Scott, but he played in, um, you remember, um, what's that movie, um, Hot Tub Time Machine, part two, mm-hmm. you remember, mm-hmm. the new nigga that took over for John Cusack, the son, yeah, yeah, he, is, he like the main dude, okay, bet. bro, the this, this show, and guess who was directed by, Ben Stiller, it's not funny though, so it's serious, it's a damn, serious he a movie. director? I ain't even know that, it's man. It's a serious TV show. It got a few funny moments. I'm yeah. telling you, it's a slow thriller. It's slow. The last episode, the very I last like episode, it. is okay. a great payoff to the so whole what, thing. So what's the premise? Is it like a whodunit or no, like tell you some this. shit like that? I'm going to tell you this. Because you're going to figure out in the first, first five minutes of the show, they're going to tell you what's going on. Okay. But anyway, it's a place, right? Mm-hmm. Um, a job, a workplace. Mm-hmm. And they, um, when you go into the workplace, yeah. They made. They had the people who worked there. They had surgery, right? They had a some type of brain surgery, mm-hmm. 
in order to work there. So in order to work there, you got to go, go through this this brain surgery. It's called the severance. Yeah. So as long as you at work, you do not know or remember nothing you did outside of work. And once you leave work, you don't remember or know nothing you did while you was at work. That shit sound crazy. That's all shit, I want to know. Shit sound crazy, bro. Don't tell me nothing else. And it's like two versions of yourself. Because don't tell me nothing else. Okay, okay. Don't even say it. That shit sounds it's still the same person, but, but it's, you, like, it's like two versions. It's like yeah. two damn versions yeah, because, because you like, don't you know, know what's yeah. going on outside and you don't know what's going on inside. It's called severance. That's okay, bit. And like I said, the last episode it's is a what big payoff. Is a big payoff. I mean, like, is it? Oh, so is it a series or is it like it's a, a series? It's a, it's a um, what them things called? It's not limited. It's like oh, not, it's not limited. They got another season coming. Oh, okay, bit, bit, yeah, bit, they, bit. They just got green lit for another season, so it's nine episodes. Okay, check them out. Hour long. No, no, they shorter than the album, I think. Okay, bet. Check it out, bro. Speaking of TV shows, bro, I finally just started watching um The Sopranos. Yeah. This nigga Tony Soprano first episode go crazy. I can't care. I still ain't watched it. You got you to tune in, bro. I'm about to, man. It's actually lit. I'm trying that. to watch all the episodes. I mean, all the TV shows niggas be telling me to watch. They told me, I want to watch Breaking Bad. I it's on um, Netflix. I don't know what the... I ain't going to speak on it because I have never seen it. So I ain't gonna say what I was about to say, but I am not watching Game of Thrones. I am not watching it. I do not want to watch it. I already know what happened at the end anyway. Yeah. So it's like it's no point in watching it, bro. I don't want to see it. No. I feel you, bro. I don't want to take partake in it. I didn't get into it when it was on. When it was on, I didn't watch that shit. Either. I didn't watch it either, bro. Like I, I done missed out on a lot. Of you TV was a shows, big though. fan of The Witcher. Have you been keeping up with that? Nope. I ain't seen the last two seasons. I seen the first season, and I haven't watched the last two. Matter of fact, told me about it. it's been so long. I might need to rewatch the first season. They got Henry start, Cavill not finna be in it no more. And start all about that. I heard about that shit. Yeah, that, that shit gonna be shit whack. Shit you might as well stop. Yeah, might as well gonna stop. Be, um, Luke, somebody replacing him. It's gonna be Hemsworth. He replacing him. Luke, yeah, that's not gonna work. I don't man. know why they doing that, but it ain't even like like Luke Hemsworth is a good actor. I fought with him, but it's like. <laughs> You when, already got Henry yes, Cavill. When you he grew did, to love yeah. somebody and then you switch him, mm-hmm. that shit weird, bro. And then it's been three seasons of Henry three Cavill. Three se- seasons. Three seasons. Mm-hmm. It's just weird, bro, to see somebody else doing. Because you're going to be like, you're going to always compare him to Henry. Like, mm-hmm. that ain't what Henry would do. Yeah. That ain't some shit like that. Come on, bro. Um, Nothing going on in Marvel news. is trash. Bullshit, bullshit. All right, let's get to something yeah. else. <laughs> <laughs> you even keep it up with it? Yeah, no, nah, man. They been pissing me off, bro. Okay, look, this is a fun one. Oh, wait, my bad. Last thing. Thor 5 is supposed to be coming out. Thor 5, bro? Directed by Taika Waititi again. Thor 5. I'm tired of Thor, bro. I'm not. I just wish they did my men's right because that's my favorite character. I'm tired of this nigga Thor. This nigga had five. I feel like he should have died in Endgame, bro. He should have died, bro. Because it's like, bro, he should have died. Nah, I don't think he should have died. I think he should have just been that nigga that them niggas go to. Yes, but they want to keep. They want. It make me. Come on. What's up, bro? What you got? What you got? <laughs> All right, like, look, look. It's another little quick fun. It's kind of fun. It might it might take a little minute though. Damn, man. Look, yeah. You talking about damn about the Thor? I'm shit? talking about damn about the Thor shit, yeah, but that shit lame, it, it, bro. It is what it is. We'll talk about Thor another day. Yeah. Um. Damn. But look, right? Mm-hmm. Remember we were talking about the Matrix, one of the greatest movies ever ever created. Of course, yeah. Okay, let me ask you this: in the Matrix, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, let me ask you this. Would you rather, if you knew what the real world was, would you rather be in the real world or stay in the Matrix? Be in the real world. You 100% would be in the real world. Yep. You wouldn't think twice about going to the real world over the Matrix. Because it's like, bro, this shit is fake, bro. Yeah. There's no point in being in it. But at the same time. It don't matter. It ma- it feel like home. It's your home. No, it was your home for so and so. Oh, so you saying like if I was in a neo situation, if I just woke up randomly, it was like damn, and I had the choice to go back. Not necessarily a neo situation, because neo is the dude, right? I'm saying not like actually neo. Yeah. I'm saying like if I just woke up randomly, like he did, like they they picked him up out of there, yeah, or some shit like that. Yeah, and then it's... I had the choice to go back or not. Yeah, you had a choice to go back after you've been in the matrix, right? So yeah. let me let me rephrase the question. If you knew what the real world was, uh-huh. and you knew exact, and you lived in the Matrix, but mm-hmm. they ejected you from the Matrix, and you had the choice to stay in the real world or go back to the Matrix, say you got ejected around twenty twenty five, would you stay in the real world or go back to the Matrix? Stay in the real world, bro. You would still stay in the real world. Think about it. I'm serving as a battery, but I'm not. I'm not finna. But help this these is a niggas. life that you know. I'm not finna help these niggas. 
This is a life. One less one of me is one less percent of battery power that them niggas can get. And that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't do you, it, bro. You, when you make that point, it sounds like unnecessary because it's like your your life is not shit compared to everybody else's life on earth. But exactly. But so I that's just what I'm saying. Do it, but no, I just wouldn't do it. I just would not want to be it. I so, wouldn't want to be in none. Let me ask you this. Like so that. look at it like you 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 saying it real smoothly like. You're not even thinking about your family that you didn't live with for 25 years. They fucking fake. They're but not that real. It don't matter, though. It does. It's a life that you know you've been living. And it's then it is automatically took away from you. It's fake. Look, like, that, that, like think about it. It's, a, it's literally an eye opener. That's just like if I woke up and I found out that you was not my brother and you was not even a real person. Listen, I'm why not, the fuck would I want to? I would come back here. And I'd be like, bro. But I'm saying, I, I'd just be looking at you. I'm like, bro, you're not even real. No, you wouldn't come back to the Matrix as knowing. Oh. I'm saying, like, when you get ejected, you have the trust to go back. So if they put you back in there, you you would get back. You know what I'm saying? But you but, would just know in the real world. But you everybody know? else, when they went in there, they knew that that was not the real world. Yeah, but I'm saying, you seen what the nigga... Um, I seen what the fuck nigga did. Yes, he was he trying was, to go back in there. He was trying to go back and get his, his memories erased from being in the real world. No. I couldn't do it. Bro. I'm just saying you said it real fast. I, just, I don't think you understand it. Listen, I understand listen. what you're saying. I just I'm probably do it. I'm gonna tell you like this. I would probably say real world too, but it's like a hard ass decision. And it's harder than what you making it. Because it's like, I'm bro, keep, you know this life. This the type of look, I feel where you're coming from. This I'm and I'm being not to be dark or whatever, but this is just the type of person I am. If I woke up and found out that none of this shit was real. I was just one person. You wasn't real. My mama wasn't real. Everything I was doing was fake. And I woke up and seen that we was being took over by machines. I'd be like, bro, just shoot me in the head. And just let me go somewhere else. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not being fake. I'm That's just crazy. I'm dead serious. I'm like, bro, just shoot me in the head. And just so, let me wake up or do whatever else I'm so you do. wouldn't rather. So you wouldn't rather stay in the, in the real world? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't even stay in you the real world? You know what I'm saying? I would, but it's just like, bro. At the same time, just if I die, I don't care. Because at this point, everything was fake anyway. So it's like, I'm going to fight with y'all. If I die, that's, that probably would be better if I died anyway. Because it's like, bruh, I, these niggas out here, they fucked up. And then the world is machines. Like, you feel me? It's already hard to fight back against them anyway. So it's like, bruh. Yeah, but it's a whole community in the real world. It's like a yeah, whole I know. city. Yeah, it's a whole city. What's so that, you, what would just, you would just give it up. When it called, what it was called? It was called some, some city. But um, Zion. 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 I think it was yeah. Zion. Yeah, Zion. Zion. But yeah. it's like, bro, it's a whole city. But it's like, bro, I understand. You just that. give up. You say, fuck this shit. I just wouldn't care. I, don't know. I wouldn't care enough. You feel me? And if that sounds selfish, I don't understand how because, like, I ain't say selfish. what would I be doing to contribute in the first place? You would just be living your life regular in the real world. No. Because think about it. If I wake, if I'm in the fake world, I'm already fake. This shit ain't real. If I wake up in a new world, I'm basically a slave. I can't no, go. you not. You, nigga. You, you not a slave. You got to be careful, bro. Because they are... Nigga, you seen what happened? You literally seen the movies, bro. It's like, Thomas, bro. them niggas was... They was good, bro. They was cool, but it's like, bro. That's not That's not the way to live They was good life, for the most part. They that's not good. the way to live a life, though. That's not cool, bro. The way that they was living down there. How, though? I mean, they had... Good, they I had, understand what you're saying, but... It wasn't the worst conditions, though, But bro. think about they it. They had food. They had people. They had parties. Think about what I'm saying. Think shit. about what I'm saying, though, bro. Is you listening? You I'm in listening, a world bro. with nothing but that one. Yeah. It ain't like I can walk out and find another colony. It ain't like I can do anything else, even though we down there, we cooling. It's like at the same time, bro, you basically still trapped. You know? Yeah. And bro. I understand people would like to still live. I'm not saying it's not cool to live down there. I'm just saying me personally, if I woke up and found out that the shit that I was already living for 25 years wasn't real, I wouldn't even... I would, my mom would be like, bro, well, fuck it. Just, I'm going to be down here. Whatever happens, happens, bro. I don't give a damn. Like, I f uh, I f I you don't feel me at all. I don't, know. You don't, I mean, bro, but whatever. I see where you're coming from. You don't. I can see where you're coming from, but I just don't. I just wouldn't take it like that. I just wouldn't care, in my opinion. I just, like, if I, like, dead ass, if I woke up and found out this shit real, wasn't, it wasn't real, I'd just be like, okay, so if you was, no so that's bro. what I'm saying. So I just wouldn't give a damn no more. Bro, if you was born there, right? If you was born in Zion, bro, and you grew up, you wouldn't look at it like that. Yeah, but I was not born there. And that's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. And that's what I'm saying. You basically would rather kill yourself. 
I wouldn't care to live. That's you what I'm saying. You wouldn't care to live because of the conditions you think y'all living in. But if you lived out, it would no, be a regular that's condition. Not, that's not why I wouldn't care to live. I wouldn't care to live because I just spent most of my life in a fake ass world. Yeah, but now I you don't care but now no you got, more. But now you got the freedom to do your own shit. Freedom to know that my whole family was not real, that I loved, that was not real. And I don't give a fuck no more. And see, that's why I, I don't care, you, bro. That's why I asked you: Would you go back to that? No, if you had the chance, because I would know that you're not real. You wouldn't know once you get back in there, bro. Well, anyway, I still, fuck? No, I wouldn't want to go back. So you wouldn't want to go back this, and you wouldn't want to live either. That's like, you got to choose one. Bro. Why do I got to choose? Why I can't just die? This man here, bro. Why do you, Ain't I no point in getting... I don't understand why you're not, why you're not getting what I'm, I'm saying, I'm getting though, what you're saying, but I'm saying... Because it's like, I don't think about it, bro. I do not care anymore. First of all, I just learned that... Just listen. You... I, I promise you, you would care, bro. Just listen. You would care more than you think you would care, bro. I wouldn't. That's your bro. fucking life, nigga. I wouldn't, bro. You tripping? You would care more than you would if they brought you to the real world, right? You would care more because you now it's like, I let me figure care. out what I'm going to do now. Let me let me figure out now. You might not care a few years later, but when you when it first happened, bro, you're not just going to automatically be like, I don't care about life. Come on now, bro. Be realistic. You might you might try to find your you might try to find your way for a few years, and then you might go into a depression where you feel like, damn, okay, bro. I missed the matrix. Trust me, I know how I am, bro. I wouldn't care. I would dead ass wake up. This thing about it. Now I'm not. Now obviously I'm not finna wake up like, oh damn, it was real. Oh, shit, I don't care. I'm gonna wake up, be like, what the fuck, and I'm gonna be shocked and all, wow, wow, what the hell, blah, blah, blah. and then once I realize what's really real, I'm be like, bro, I just don't give a fuck no more. Whatever happens, happens. I don't care. If I die, I die, bro. Simple as that. You feel me? I feel you, bro. It would probably no. You don't stop lying because you don't feel. Me. I, 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 when I say I feel you, I'm saying I hear what you're saying. Not necessarily feel the same way about. You. I just wouldn't give a fuck. Bro. You know what I'm saying I'm gonna keep it. I feel like, and I wouldn't want to go back because even though I would get my memories erased, yeah, I wouldn't want to go back. I either. wouldn't know that I'm finna get my memories erased. I would know. I would have to literally sit there and go through with the shit again, and I wouldn't do it. That's why I'm saying I'm not going back. Because I, I wouldn't go through with the fact that I'm finna go back into a fake world. Bro. I, 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 I hear you. You feel me? I hear you, bro. The whole time I'm doing it, I'm gonna be thinking like, bro, I'm finna go back in this fake ass world. These niggas ain't even real, even though I ain't gonna remember it. I, I'm, I know now. So yeah. it's like, what's the point of going back? There's no point, bro. And plus, once I found out, once I found out, man, these niggas machine, they using us for this and this and this and yeah. this shit fake. I would definitely not want to go what back. I'm, then. That's what I'm saying. You, I wouldn't really go back, but it, it'll be a hard decision. That's all I'm saying. Okay, it'll be a hard decision. You just try to you try to play me, bro. I did because you, you really tried, tried to come at me. No, I didn't. I never tried to come at you. you always I, come I, at me. I, I, when? I don't know, bro. This topic, you, I did not always, come at you. You always come at me. Though, all bro. I said was I would rather. I just wouldn't care. I wouldn't go back. Like and then you try to make it seem like. It was wrong for me to say that. Or some no, shit. it wasn't wrong. I was saying you making your, you making your shit like it's way easier than it is, bro. Yeah, you know, I felt yeah. like that was way easy. I guess with the fried fish, when I said chicken, remember you said you said you making it seem like it's just a quick decision. That's basically what I'm saying to you. The but, same thing, you make it seem like it's just a quick ass decision to make that shit, yeah. bro. Once you when you tied into something for so long, and it's like, damn, bro, yeah. it's took away from you. I feel you. You want that shit back? Yeah. You I might think. you might live down there for a week and be like, bro, I cannot do this. I want my fucking old life back. And then you might just say, fuck it. But, Put me back in that but bitch. But, I know. Type, but it's also depends on the type of person you are. I am not that type of person. That's why I'm that's why I'm bro, telling you that. I'm gonna tell you like this. You don't know what type of person you is until you're in that situation. Okay, bro. Whatever. You don't, bro. Whatever, bro. You can believe Whatever, you that type of person. You're really trying to test so me can... now. Let's go to the next topic because you're really trying to test me now. You're bro, really trying to test me now. This nigga, bro. You're trying to test me now. Nigga, Let's go to the next topic. I'm just saying. Could you try to test me? You never know who you is until you get in certain situations. I done already been in certain situations where I found out who I am. Not bro. like that, though, bro. But that's the point. If I already know, look, if, yeah, if a nigga never been in nothing and they came out like that, you don't know who you are. But I know 1,000% how I am and who I am. I know if I was put in that predicament, this is exactly what I would do. I know that. You would say, fuck life. Yes. I'm not lying. I would get down, like you said. I would not say fuck like life. Like you said, I'll Never. get down that hole in Zion and I'll be thinking of some shit. I'll be like, man, bro, fuck this shit. I wouldn't even think, like, bro, I want to go back. I'll be like, man, fuck all this shit. I don't care about nothing no more. I That's would, how I would look at it. I wouldn't it. give up on life, bro. I, would, I just wouldn't do it. Hey, I respect it. I just don't care enough. I feel I you, bro. Enough, I'm bro. not that type of nigga, though, bro. I would have made it work down that motherfucker. Okay. Because I probably wouldn't have went back knowing what they were doing. Yeah. I would have made it work some other way. Okay. And I respect that. 
So just found respect. Me little, so found just, me a little colony chick. And got <laughs> you would have found Aaliyah down that joint. Aaliyah down that joint. <laughs> you crazy. Long man. live. Long live. You feel me? But, bro, just respect the fact that I wouldn't give a damn. When, it, when them niggas went out there to fight, I'd be like, bro, I don't care. Y'all got it, bro. Yeah, I feel you. I don't give a fuck because what I'm fighting for, I might die anyway. You feel, you feel me? It's just like it's just like that, bro. What you got next, bro? Nah, I'm finna go to you. Oh me? Yeah. Okay. You ready for this? This is another fun one. All right. You bet. Ready? bet. We all grew up on a um, TV show network known as Nickelodeon. All of us grew up good ass cartoons, good TV shows. I had a discussion with my homeboy in school the other day. And we was talking about Nick show. I can't even remember how the hell we got on it. But I wanted to bring it to the pod because he said some blasphemous ass shit. This nigga said, I, we was talking about top three shows. I was like, look, bro, no matter what, Drake and Josh is number one over everything. Nothing is topping Drake and Josh. I don't care what you're talking about. Take a guess at what he said. Just take a guess at what he said. I don't know. Uh, uh, what? This finna blow your mind. What did he say? I Carly, bro. No, you. He said I Carly. That that blew me too. Fuck but no. is you ready for this? What? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. This nigga said, "What is Drake and Josh?" What? This nigga said, "What's Drake and Josh?" What, bro? Bro, me and like three other dudes almost fired it. Derek, I'm talking to you, and you only. <laughs> it's no way this nigga said, "What What's is Drake, Drake and Josh? Josh?" I said, I just looked at him for like a cool two minutes. I ain't say nothing. I just looked at the nigga. What's Drake and Josh, nigga? You crazy, bro? What's Drake and Josh? What What's Drake and Josh? Nigga, Drake and Josh was damn in my childhood. I, bro, I swear to God, I was so mad with this man because I said, bro, it's no way. And he was like, bro, I hardly better than Drake and Josh. I don't even know what Drake and Josh is. I said, no, bro. Hold up, nigga. If it wasn't for Drake and Josh, it wouldn't be no I Carly. Yeah. Simple as that. And to be honest, the more argument is I call it or victorious. That's really the argument. Yeah. Drake and Josh is like the grandfather, and then you got I Tarly and Victorious, and then it's which one is better. You know what than you sleeping on? Zoe 101? Ned. No, I bro- no, no, no. No. I brought up Ned. Ned Declassified. Yes. Class. I said, I said, bro. I was like, bro, y'all seen Ned Declassified, School Survival Guy? And they was like, oh yeah, that's that. Yeah. That show. Bro. That whole top five. That shit give Drake and Josh Ned and Ned. and didn't and, and yeah, bro. Hold up. And this is what the this is what the topic is about. Top three Nickelodeon shows. Live action though. No cartoons. Top three for me is Drake and Josh, Neddy Classified, and the OG SpongeBob. You're not no, I said no cartoons. Oh yeah, you said no cartoons. My bad. Drake and Josh, Nazi Classified, and Where is it? Come on, let's see if you get it. And Zoe, I guess. Okay. okay. Yeah, Zoe okay. 101. Okay, good. I hate saying it because it's, it's was Zoe be seeming like a chick show, but it was, was a good show, though. Bro. It was a good ass show. I'm going to keep it a brick. Nah, we, you know what? I ain't going to do top three. We can do top five. Them your three. Now you can add two in there. Because I want to add some in mine, bro. Because I got my list is a little. You talking about live action, though? Yeah, live action. I don't really fuck with a lot of live action other than them. Other than them three? Like, Victoria's was cool. Where's um, I Carly? I Carly was cool, but bro, listen, I bro, I Carly is cool and Victoria's is cool, but I wasn't watching them like I was watching Drake and Josh. He's gonna do it. <laughs> that shit came with y'all generation. I was on Ned and, and Drake and Josh. I old. was on Ned. I ain't say you wasn't. I'm saying, <laughs> bro, you was young for Ned though, bro. I'm I saying, was, yeah, I was young. Yeah, and you was. That's what I'm saying. Like. I feel like the I Carly and the Victoria's that shit came after me. Bro. I ain't gonna lie, boy. That Victoria's. shit came after me. That shit came with. I was like. Getting on other shit. When you, it, Victoria came out like 2010, you was like, what, 13? Exactly. I was getting on other shit, you bro. You was an old ass nigga. I was getting on other shit. I was like six, five, five or six when that shit came out. So I, I grew up on Drake and Josh, Ned and Zoe. I'd get them three. Okay. Them the three that I would choose. I got Drake and Josh. Um, Them the three. I got Drake and Josh. I might say I might say Victorious number two, uh, <laughs> and then I might say Ned number three, and I Cardi number four, and then Bet. Zoe number five. Top shit. All right, um, I think that's respectable. I want to do a versus though. Okay, what's up? 
because you talk, you got me talking on about the you know the young. I want to do like everybody hates Chris, but I don't know what to give it. I don't know what to go against it with. Matter of fact, I'm gonna think about it. I'll put it on the next part, bro. Okay, bet. I'm gonna think about what it. What versus this. everybody hates? Chris. Everybody hates Chris is honestly like the best. The best. The best. What? Damn the TV show, bro. Um, for the young kids, bro. If you a young nigga watching TV shows, everybody hate Chris. I yeah, recommend. Everybody hate Chris. Probably like top five, top three. What's better than everybody? You talking about Drake and Josh? Them better? No, because that's not a kid show. Bro, everybody hates Chris. Is like a kid no, show. No, the hell is not, bro. The nigga started off as a kid. The bro. nigga was just selling crack on TV. Bro, I swear to God, the nigga did the hand to hand on TV. That shit ain't for kids, bro. Bro, that's damn. That's a kid show, Tom. You got racial slurs in that motherfucker. You so? got cuss words in that motherfucker. So. You got violence in that so? That shit ain't no kid show, bro. Bro, it's violence in Victorious and shit, bro. No, it's not. Niggas get blown up and beat up and shit. No, the fuck they not, dude. So, <laughs> that niggas not getting beat up. So would you, say regular, would you say regular show is not for kids? Regular show is borderline kids. Bro, is they selling drugs on TV? No. That nigga ain't selling no crack. On my mama, nigga, I was just watching Everybody Hate Chris at Angel House. But what the nigga to, dead ass did a hand to hand. But what they got the nigga, to do? They had guns on there and shooting and shit. That's like still that. a kid show, bro. Man, no, it's not. I feel like kid. It was made for, bro. Listen, no, it was not. They were Dre. not cussing like that. It was a kid telling his story, bro. And it just so happened to have drug dealers in it because he's in a poverty and black neighborhood. No, bro. The Drake and Josh shit and the Zoe One One, the Victorious, all that shit is made for kids. For the for the it's literally made for kids. Like kids. Everybody hate Chris is not made for kids. That's fucking seven, eight, six, nine. It's not. It may be it, it may him? be made for niggas that's like 14, 15, shit like that. But it's not made for niggas that's, that's kid, five bro. years old. No, 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 it's not. That's, that's damn near a kid, bro. You still a kid for real, for real. At 13, you still a kid for real. At 12 and 13, I feel like it was made for 12. Maybe like 10, 11, 12. No. 10, 11, 12, and then own up because even grown ups can watch it. Okay. That's okay. what I say, bro. Okay. Man, forget you, bro. Because I'm just saying, bro. It's like, bro, it's, it, it got, like, regular show is literally a kid show, but it's borderline. Is Be- it though? Yes. Because it's like this they push the boundaries as far as it can go for a kid show. Them niggas. Bro, the nigga literally was selling crack on television. But listen, bro, like you, uh, you, you know, I get what you're saying because it's like kid, young niggas watch it. But it's like, bro, come on, bro, you can't tell me that that like was meant for a six year old to watch. It was not meant for a six year old to wake up in every morning and watch. Everybody hates Chris. It's not, bro. Listen, bro, was you feel me? I feel like, bro, that shit. Never- Victoria's had jokes in there, and Z- Victoria's had jokes in there that would go over a six year old head. So apparently it wasn't made for that one either. You gotta look at it like this, bro. You gotta I look at like, the age ranges of kids. Like the, I just said, age range like I just said, a nigga that's fourteen can understand some shit that a seven, six, eight, nine year old cannot understand. That don't mean shit though. Yes, it does. Because what I'm saying to you is, like I said, Victoria's and them had jokes in there that would go over. Even Drake and Josh had and jokes. And it wasn't in there. a lot of them. You act like they had back to back jokes that would just go I'm over people's heads. Though, it was like every other episode, there may be one joke that'll be like, okay, that's for for people that's a little bit older. That's oh, it. Okay, so that means they made it for them people as well. So I feel like everybody Ace Chris can be watched by everybody, bro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You got it. That's what I feel like, bro. But was I, it I, meant- I could I could be tripping, but I don't give a fuck. Okay. I don't give a damn. Okay. Everybody hate Chris. Have Drake and Josh ever said, ain't this about a bitch? <laughs> Have Drake and Josh ever said you lost your damn mind? Has Drake and Josh ever said some shit like that? No, they never said that, bro. It don't matter though. Okay. I don't feel like that. <laughs> okay, bro. All right, dude. All right. Bro. I don't feel like that matter, All right, bro. bro. All right. Go to your topic, bro. You ready? You got on my bro. Come on. We gonna we gonna we gonna tone it down a little bit. We are gonna get a little bit more on the serious side, bro. Dre, Will Ken put me on this book a couple months ago. I read it like twice since he put me on it. I think you know what I'm about to say. What you talking about? The Richest Man in Babylon. Richest Man in Babylon. Great book. Great book. It ain't even that fucking long, actually. It's like 90 pages. If you a young nigga, bro, you need you, to yeah, read. If you if you young and you don't read and you starting off reading, read The Richest Man in Babylon. As your first book. For sure. Because it's like, first of all, like you said, when you coming in and reading, bro, a lot of people don't like reading because it take too long and shit. But this book is the perfect length. It's like, especially when you get to like page 80 something, it's like the last few pages you really don't even have to read. Yeah. Because they don't, they like, I forgot what they call them. But it's like, I read all the way through it. I think I read it. I did it twice. Yeah. And it teach you a lot as a young person about saving bread and getting finances. Finances. 
if you just trying to get your money right, trying to get into some shit like that, read, read that, that book, book, man. Please mm-hmm. read that book. That that book is great. You tried to he tried to put me on um the rich dad poor dad joint. I just wasn't feeling it. Yeah, I read rich rich dad poor dad too, but it's like I read the whole thing too. Yeah. Um, I want to read the one he got. He got um million dollar habits. Y'all got million dollar habits. I want to read that too. That's a good book too. It's it's, it's cool. and I was gonna order that other book, Atomic Habits. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I seen that. One. I was finna get both of them, but I just didn't get it. I I'm I'm new to the reading shit because I always hated reading since I was young. I I was a good reader. I always read on like upper levels and shit. Read. I, I just f- never. I cared. feel like reading. You know um what it is like. You know how you have like moments in life where you see some you watch. You might watch a movie. You might watch a scene. You might watch a clip that kind of change your perspective on shit. Uh-huh. I feel like. The more you read, the more your mind evolves, bro. Definitely. To the point yeah. where you don't look at certain shit the same, bro. Mm-hmm. I feel like that. I feel like reading had that um that effect on people more. Yeah. Cause like you could you, you know you ever seen a movie and you come out the movie like damn, I got a new perspective on some shit on some shit. I feel like reading every time you read a book, it can do that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mean? saying? Just like that feeling. Book of Babylon. I mean, the rich man. <laughs> The richest man, <laughs> man in Babylon. Babylon. <laughs> Not the book of Babylon. The richest man in Babylon. That's what it's called. I forgot the author, but the Great richest book. man of Babylon. Great book. I put this on here for all the youngins. Cause that shit introduced me to like more things than just saving. It introduced me into an intricate way of saving. A way that can save and you will definitely still be able to live your life type shit. So would you say that's the most important um thing as a young person to know how to save money how to use definitely money. definitely bro I, I, well I agree. I agree. It's, it's two things number one is like we said earlier standing on what you believe in being a real nigga and shit but after right after that yes learning how to handle your money and shit aka your business as well because money and business go like this so it's like bro yeah i feel like that's the most important thing as a young nigga to know because you never know when you can come into some money Start early, man. Um, Facts. Start being aware of your money early. Start being aware of the, um, you know, the type of energy you keep mm-hmm. around you. Start believing in yourself early, man. Start like, be different. These yeah, days. just, just, just do what you like to do. Yeah. Do what you believe in. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, the rest of it gonna follow. When you find mm-hmm. your passion in life, or you find like. You know, something that you really enjoy, do that. Because yeah. you never know. Today's time, you never know where that can lead you, bro. Just being yourself now. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, don't be afraid to be yourself. Don't be afraid to try new shit. But like I say, also, like you say, pick up the book, Richest Man in Babylon. Mm-hmm. Learn how to, you know, learn about finances early. Because once you once you be out in society, you get out of high school, you get, you know, bills and all that extra shit. It's some different shit, man. You're going to need, you know, to learn how to once I start manage paying, your finances. Once bro. I started paying bills, I started to realize that shit. But see, I always knew it would be, you know, like it is. But yeah. when I started paying bills, I started realizing, like, oh, yeah, I got to really have my bread stacked up right. Because it's like shit. Man. This shit can turn on you real quick. But these bills ain't no joke. And bro. see, this nigga Dre, he old, so he been paying bills for like 30 years. Bro. And it's like... <laughs> You know, I've been paying years since I, I mean, paying bills since I was like eighteen, bro. Yeah, see, look, eighteen minutes just started. And I'm paying what twenty four right now. I'm trying to play twenty six right now. I'm like twenty six right now. Why are you just lying to them folks? Like that, bro? <laughs> Talking about you twenty four, bro. I told you I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to age, bro. I'm trying Man, to be twenty five. About to be thirty in the next couple years. <laughs> I'm trying to be twenty five every day. But for real, for real though, dead serious though. That yeah. bill shit, yeah. Make sure you read some books, get your knowledge up. I feel like that's the best way to learn is self, self-talk. Because the school system shit, they don't be teaching you nothing. Yeah, man, you got to read. Yeah. You got to read, bro. You can learn how to do math by reading. If you read a book that teach you how to do math and you do the shit, you can learn it. Don't nobody got to sit here and teach you that shit. True. You know what I'm saying? True. Not saying, like, teachers don't need to be there, but I'm just saying, like, bro, you, come on, bro. We all know what's going on, bro. You feel me? We all know what's going on, bro. So, yeah, man. Richest Man in Babylon. That's a book recommendation. Um, I just thought I'd come on here right quick and talk about that joint because it's re- it really opened my eyes about it, and I read it like twice. So, yeah. It's 917. 930? Okay. Yeah. But, uh. 935, like last time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah. Shit. <laughs> Richest Man in Babylon. Read type it. shit. Read it. 
I got a topic, another series. Oh, one. you got another? Yeah. Bet. We ain't been on this type of junk since like episode three. So, episode two. <laughs> so, we finna hop back in that junk. You ready? Okay, bet. Damn, my phone just got fucking froze. I need a new phone. My phone fucked up. Right, did I tell you that? Nah, bro. Your phone always fucked up. But it don't be my fault, though. You feel this me? This nigga that broke so many fucking phones, I bro. lost this phone because I fought your damn nephew. That's how I broke this bitch. This nigga that, <laughs> this nigga that broke so many Okay, phones. let me. I got a quick story time right quick before we get into the serious topic. Let me ask you a question. Are y'all tired of breaking your phones? Constantly losing shit that you never thought you would lose? Well, I got an idea for you. Never keep your phone in your goddamn pocket. Because, bro, <laughs> let me tell you how I lost my, I broke my iPhone 11. And you, and you tell me if this is my fault. I go in the kitchen. Got my headphones in. It's back. AirPods without, but you know, nigga was 14, 15. I ain't have money to get no damn AirPods. So good. I got the wire joints. Got it in my pocket. Headphones in. Listening to Pluto. Go in the, go in the kitchen. Hey, pop, what for breakfast? Blah, blah, blah. Walk back to the hallway. I open the door. I walk past the door. Headphones get caught on the door, snatched it out of my pocket, glass break on the back of my goddamn phone. <laughs> now, you tell me if that was my fault that the phone broke. Yeah. Was it my fault? And it ain't like I was moving around and shit. I literally just opened the door and walked past, and the shit got snatched out of my pocket and broke. You should have had them shorts with them little ass pockets. I didn't even have shorts on. I had sweatpants on. Man. What you trying to say, bro? See how you try to see? See how these <laughs> niggas just try to play me, bro? Like it was my fault, bro? It was not my fault. You gotta fault. be more careful, man. That was as careful I what could be. What the fuck the case was, bro? I didn't have a case at the time. That's I was your trying fault. to get a case. That's your fault. Nigga, but no. That's yeah, the that's time it. when I was trying to buy a case. I was literally, I think I was going to get one later that day. I'm gonna tell you like this. When how many bro, you didn't you know me. My damn my Yeah, you never you yeah, I know you. I barely break phones. Yeah. I be having the same phone for years. But this is the thing about look. it though. It don't nine times out of ten, that shit don't be my fault, bro. It always look but Thomas, bro. Okay. At some you, point you, you gotta take responsibility. But think about Because you done had look, like eight phones in the First of all, I haven't break, had eight. Bro. I done had like three. You don't have a phone for more than three months before that bitch gone. Okay, bro. look. <laughs> if, look, <laughs> look, shut up. Watch this. If I put the phone in my pocket. Right, I'm watching. and I'm sitting here chilling, and I'm like, "Yeah, bro, we talking." I swear to God, my phone has broke like this. I'm sitting here talking to you. I'm like, "Bro, what you mean?" Oh, boom, and broke. How is that my fault? If I'm sitting here just talking to you and it fall out my pocket, B. Listen, bro, the it... phone bent in my pocket. How is that my fault? And it, guess what? I had a case on it this time. I had a six plus fucking case on it. I kept it in my pocket. Next thing you know, my shit started getting bent. How is that my fault, G? Damn, come bro. on, bro. I, at some point in time, these niggas got to goddamn make their phones a little stronger now. Because goddamn, ain't no way. Ain't no way. And then it's like, bro, I was standing up. So if I'm standing up, it's like it's only halfway down my leg. Yeah. And you telling me that hoe fell out my pocket and broke the whole back of my phone? Shit crazy. That shit lame as hell, man. But anyway. Let the man, I let him get his rent off. That was some bullshit. Go ahead. Because you trying to play me. My bad, bro. Now, Go. back to the real topic, because that was just a quick little story time. Bro. Yeah, because we we, yeah. we got a little we got a little bit time. Not a whole we got lot. A little just bit. a little We got a little bit more left, and we can talk about some more shit. So, you ready for this? This one? might be the last one, though. Yeah. Probably, yeah, depending on how we look at this shit, because this might be the very last one. All right, bet. So, love at first sight. This was supposed to be on last week's part. Didn't get to say it. Love at first sight. Is it even a thing anymore? Or was it a thing ever? Did you ever believe in the fact that you will see a girl or she'll see you and you'll just automatically be like, damn, I think I'm. You feel me? Have you ever. <laughs> have that ever came across your head? Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I give you a lot of shit, but you do come up with some good topics. I know I do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you do go up with some good topics. That was a good one. I ain't I, I wasn't expecting that one. Yeah. But I feel like the love at first sight shit is today's time it's like mm -hmm. z slim. Like it's like yeah. zero. It's like zero. Cause you never cause like right now it's like you don't know who that person is mm -hmm. just by looking at them. Yeah. But, but you can't lie though. It's like like I know what you're talking about. Um, if you if you see a girl mm -hmm. before you even speak to her, right? Like 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 let's just say you talking to a girl on Instagram or something, mm -hmm. and then y'all find and link up, right? Like like say she got a great ass personality, right? Yeah. 
and y'all finally link up and you just not seeing her for the first time, but you already know her personality bomb on the phone. Yeah. It's like, look, a lot of people have a good personality over the phone, and then you it get in person, di- that shit yeah. be whack as hell. Or vice versa. Or vice versa. Sometimes you be in person with them motherfuckers, they be lit, and then when you get home and text them or get on the they phone, vibe them, be they trash. be Yeah. So it's like, okay, you already know she got a good personality. This this, this is just one example. You know okay. she got a good personality. Okay. And then you see her in person, and before you can even say something to her, the, her demeanor, how she carry herself, what she wear, how she look, is she prepared, all that type of shit. When you first see her mm-hmm. coming out the door, coming out the house, or walking in the movie theater or something like that, you wherever y'all at, yeah, you can like almost instantly say like, damn, this girl is, mm-hmm. this girl is everything I kind of want right yeah. now, bro. Uh-huh. And then yeah. when you start talking to her and her energy match. I feel like you can automatically say, like, damn, this is a girl I can see myself being with. So, now, is it love or is it just, I don't know if it's complete love, but I think yeah. it's, like, the feeling of knowing, like, this could be and also the that's one not, potentially. And also, that's not first sight neither. And that's what I'm because Because, like you said, yeah. you said if you've been talking to her or yeah. whatever and that, y'all meet. And that's, why I use, that's why I use that one example. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. a situation okay. that a lot of people go through. Yeah. Like, that's not technically first sight, but mm-hmm. I'm saying that situation – is it, it might not be love, but it's like, yeah, damn, this girl I could really have a future with, yeah, because she kind of check out all my boxes. Most now, definitely. I don't, I have never, I don't think I've never came across that type of situation where you just be like mm-hmm. in love with a person when you first see them. I don't think yeah, that's, that's that's some. Uh, uh, I think that's some movie. I think shit. you can look at them and be like, damn, I wouldn't mind getting to know that person. Yeah, right. And y'all can both look at each other and be thinking the exact same thing. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if it's, I feel like love is a strong ass word. Definitely. And I feel like you might be able to see <clears throat> the potential in that person yeah. right off the rip. Now, that I do believe. You yeah. might be able to see, see the, the potential, potential right yeah. off the rip. Because she, like, for example, you might have a certain type and she can meet all the criteria of that type. Mm-hmm. Like the way she dress, the way she carries herself. The way she, you know what I'm saying, the vibe she give off. You can people person vibe. Yeah, for sure. You can. Yeah. That shit underrated. You can really people person vibe before you even talk to them. Mm-hmm. Before you even say anything to them, you can peep the way they move, the way they carry themselves. It's like a vibe. For sure. For sure. And that's what I'm saying. I feel like that's more realistic than the love thing. I feel like you can see the potential in a person off rip, mm-hmm. off sight. You know what I'm saying? You can see the potential in a person off sight, but is it love though? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't believe. I don't think you can see the love at first. I think you can see the potential at first sight because it take a lot to love a person, bro. Yeah, for sure. Love ain't just no easy ass words. So that's why yeah. I say, off first sight, you can see the potential, and you might you might perceive it as love or you know whatever. You might think that's what it is, but yeah, it's because really not it's some people, shit. it's some people you can lust over, yeah. and it's a difference between lusting and loving. Yeah. So I might, like I say, you might see a person that you see the potential with that you can be with. And then you might see a person that you just only want to have sex with. Yeah. That's lust. That's the difference. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, so for sure, like for sure. People be, it's, it's, it's funny to look at it like that, but I don't see it as love. I see it as the potential that y'all can be something great. Yeah. Not love. And then it would go, it would turn into love, obviously. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, on first sight, I feel like you see the potential that a person has mm-hmm. as opposed to the love. That's that's my take on it. Like, okay, I feel bet. like you can, you can definitely fall in love with the person. Mm-hmm. If everything match up, but I'm saying like on first sight before you speak to them, I feel like it's more like the potential you see mm-hmm. in that person mm-hmm. and they and the potential they see in you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Y'all just click off the sight before y'all even say nothing, and then when y'all do say something, it's just magical. That shit just click. Yeah, if for you sure. saying the right shit, she saying the right shit. That's what I feel like is not love. I think it's the potential. Okay, bit that could be love. I think that makes the, sense. I think it's the potential of love. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, the bit the potential of love. I can yeah. really love this person. On yeah, first sight, on first sight, you could really love, this but person. not you just you just love this person yeah. on first sight. For so, sure. I just want I had that like written down because first of all, man, the love scene that the, that going on these days <laughs> is just like it ain't. Even though I ain't never been around longer than a pan, can of paint, yeah. it ain't. It ain't what it used to be, as far as I can tell. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. You uh, like. I don't know, man. I feel like a lot of people just like you say, lust. They, they get lust confused with love a lot. A lot, bro. And I feel like that's what they think it is. They think it's love, but like you say, it's lust. Even at first sight, or even when they with a person, I just feel like it's not. A lot of people can love you, and a lot of people do love each other when they in a relationship. But I feel like a lot of the relationship these days is built off lust. 
is built off a lot of shit that like you lust over. You feel me? It's not like just nigga, you ain't hungry. You sit down. <laughs> you ain't that hungry, nigga. I don't finna get some water, nigga. I told you to get a water. I dro- uh, See, you ain't listen. Anyway, finish your point, like baby. I was saying, bro, it's like, bro, you got them. I just feel like, like you say, people get the shit confused a lot, bro. And by people getting it confused, it seems a lot of people be like, man, what happened to the love at first sight? It's like it's no more people that love you for real like that. But everybody is lusting over shit. Everybody yeah. is fucked up these days. And they don't value what love really means. They don't value it. That's a good point. You feel me? They don't value it. So it seems like people only feel like it's love. And actually it's lust. You see a nigga with diamond chains on, money and blah, blah, blah. You don't love that person. Or you don't even, like you say, see the potential yeah. that you could love that person. You just, you just see, lusting over the nigga because he got bread like that. Yeah. And shit like that. Or vice versa. You see a woman. And she built like goddamn, you feel me? Yeah. You ain't trying to see if you could love this girl. You just lusting over the fact that you might can smash this girl. Yeah. Which and then once up. y'all do start smashing, you still blinded by the lust, lust. not the love. Yeah. Because you really ain't getting to know her for real. Exactly. On you, a deeper level. Yeah, you really just dead her fuck. Or she not getting to know you on a deeper level. She so really it's like. Yeah, for money. I feel like that's the certain love. That's the love scene that we live mm-hmm. in today. Mm-hmm. Like you say, niggas is blinded by the lust. And not and not valuing the love that you're supposed to have for a person. Because if you love a person, you wouldn't give a fuck what he was wearing on his chain. Or you wouldn't give a fuck what type of dress she was wearing. Or if she got ass. Or if you love that person, you love the person. Man, and it's crazy because, bro, I done seen niggas like. It's valuable. Yeah, it's, it's definitely valuable. And then we're going to kind of move from it. But we're going to still stay on the relationship topic. Yeah. Like, one thing I hate about relationships these days is obviously social media fucked up. Right. But one thing I hate about relationships these days is just the fact that like people really does not have a clear direction of how they want a relationship to be played out. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. People do not know what they want in a relationship, niggas or women. Some niggas be some women be scared to get in a relationship because of some shit that happened prior. Some niggas be the same way. And I feel like if you know what you want in a relationship, it should always be secure. No matter what. It should always be like, oh, yeah, bro, no matter what, I know what I want and you know what you want. So we shouldn't have to worry about anything besides that. Yeah. You feel me? But a lot of niggas be goddamn, a lot of people, I'm going to stop saying niggas. (laughs) A lot of people in general just do not know the direction that they want to take. Hence why a lot of people be cheating. A lot of people be lying in their relationships. A lot of people be using people because it's like they don't know what they want. You feel me? Yeah, and it, bro. To be honest, I'm just gonna play devil's advocate. Uh huh. Like, a lot mm. of people don't know what they want, but it's, it's niggas not, always playing devil devil's advocate. I gotta play devil's advocate <laughs> for the people that gonna come at you about it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I gotta I gotta speak for them, just not just bash they ass. But they might be like, it might not be my fault that I don't know what I want. It's just so much shit out of the, in the world. But like I it's said, it's definitely your fault. It is your fault though. One thousand percent. It is your fault. You need to know. You know. You, you jump know, in yeah. there before you talk to a girl. You need to know one thousand, and I hate when niggas lie. I hate when people lie. Just be one thousand. This nigga a liar himself. I'm just, I'm just. <laughs> that's what the liars be saying. <laughs> hey, the, the lying niggas be saying. I hate when people lie. This nigga a real liar, bro. bro oh my mama, shut up, cause I'm not a liar, bro. This nigga funny as fuck. You these people thinking I'm lying? He ain't no shit. liar, man. I, I take that back. You bro. crazy? But that but, shit funny as fuck, cause that's how, <laughs> that's how niggas be though, bro. That's how lies be. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, bro. I feel like. People would be a lot more happy if they were just honest. Yeah. If people, if, 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 and then it's like, bro, like, man, that shit don't really be worth it. Like, before you do stuff, I feel like everybody should, this the question, everybody, no matter what it is, if it's a relationship, a money move, anything, a fucking argument that's about to happen, anything, no matter what, I feel like people should just straight up be like, okay, right before they do something, ask yourself, is this shit really worth it before I really, do this shit. Yeah. And if the if you, like I said last time, if it's the slightest answer of no, if you feel like, yeah, I should do it, but then you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't do it. Because you should you should be 100% sure about everything you do. Uh, I, I, you feel me? I know it'd be hard to do that, though, because of, like you say, past trauma or shit that happened before or like just because you don't know how to feel. But it's like, bro, you can only blame yourself for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 
I ain't gonna say that part. But like if a like for example, if a nigga cheat on a girl, right? And you know he a cheater, right? Take him back, he cheat again. Take him back, he cheat again. Who fault is it? Yeah. It's her fault. In the first time, it wasn't her fault that he cheated. He just a fuck nigga. But it's your fault for taking him back and going through it even more. Just like a girl a nigga. Yeah. If you know a girl only wants you for money and you bought her this and you and you just keep buying her this, buying her this, buying this, and then you starting to go broke. Who fault is it? <laughs> it's your fault. Because your ass should have known that all she wanted was money. So why is you continuously giving it to her? And then you yeah. go to the next girl thinking she's going to do the same thing. But really, she's just a real girl. Just like another nigga can come in the picture and you think he's going to do the same thing. But he a real nigga. Yeah. And it's like. And the cycle it, continues. Yeah, and the cycle continues. And if people was just honest all the time, shit like that wouldn't even happen. True. You feel me? True. If you was just real and honest, people wouldn't need, like for example, if bro was talking to a girl and he was like and he just straight up told her, I ain't gonna lie, man, I don't know if I'm really into the relationship, if I'm feeling it, and then they could try to work something out. And if it don't work out, then they just leave and let that be. Obviously it'll be sad if they broke up or if they didn't really make it far enough. But it's like it's it rather you save somebody a bunch of pain and trauma and a bunch of wasted energy. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. But that's all, bro. It's just, it's just like I feel like niggas should be more people should be more honest and be more real with themselves before, you know, they try to tell somebody else to do that shit. True. You know True. But yeah, that's it, man. That was that's a good all. topic, man. Good that topic, was a good bro. one. Type shit. Oh yeah. But uh, it's it's, it's getting about that time though. We gotta really definitely it. we gotta wrap it up. We, we got, got Oppenheimer it. Sunday. We gonna talk about that shit and all. Yeah, we week. definitely talking about it. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. We ain't never talked about a movie. We talked about movies on here a lot. Yeah, yeah. But this is probably going to be the longest segment we ever talked about a movie. I don't know if it's going to be that That's, long. I feel like it might be extremely long. I feel like we finna go in there, whole, and there's going to be some shit in there that we might disagree on or we might not, or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You, you know, right, I you feel right. like it's definitely going to be Oppenheimer right. weekend next week. Yeah. Damn, we didn't even do, I didn't even come up with a movie. Um, oh, a classic album. Let's go on oh, yeah, no right skip before album. we go. No skip album. I got mine. You got yours? Um... No, what's yours? I got CM7 by Yo Gotti. Damn, that's a good one, bro. Mm -hmm. I bet I got um. See, this nigga one prepared, but he's never prepared. Dog. I got by any means by Gates. Man, that's that's some off the fly shit. Yeah, you pulled the had that ready. But if you if you like albums, they come to you. Okay, like yeah, you're right. By any yeah, means, CM7 by Yo Gotti, one of the best trap albums I ever heard. I'm not skipping by any means. No song on there. We should do that. We should do a versus. Well, by any means by CM7. Man, CM7 is my, my high CM7 school. CM7 got it. They got it. I, I think know. CM7 got it. it, it, it it's going to be a deep dive on that motherfucker, yeah. but yeah. But yeah, man. So, yep. Yeah, uh, we finna go and get up out of here, man. We got to be on the way to this movie and shit. Things of that nature. Yeah. I hope everybody have a good next week. Hope y'all be tuning in and shit because we got more in store, more coming. Mondays, every Monday. Every Monday, be looking for the pod type shit. Make sure y'all subscribe. Let everybody know. Oh, yeah. Follow us on Instagram. Socials will be down in the low. Damn, I fucked up. Socials will be down below Yeah, in yeah, the description. Post the reels every other day almost. Mm -hmm. Follow us on TikTok, IG, all that shit, man. Yeah, man. But, but um, hope y'all boys do good this week, man. Episode yeah. five is a wrap. See you for episode six next week. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. We up out of here, man.